Are you going to pick a song? Definitely. Yes. Uh, me and Anne might do the whole weekend. That's a music festival, right? It's like the camping and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are hotels nearby, so. Yeah, I haven't missed a year since it started. Are you and Michelle gonna go? You guys should go. Oh. I mean, you know who's headlining, right? Flaming, Flaming lips. lips! That's great. Okay, that's exciting. I mean, we'd have to get there early. Yeah, to see some of the bands and then kind of late to see some of the other ones. It's like a full day. It's supposed to be 100 degrees mm -hmm. and 100% sand in your mouth. Look at the cheapest price. So expensive. Yeah, but I don't want to miss out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know, and everyone's going to be talking about it, and we're going to have to watch everyone's Instagram photos and Twitter. That's all porta potties right there. The smell situation, the small talk situation. How many festivals are we going to go to? That's never going to end. That sounds terrible. It's uncivilized. Let's not go. I, I just, just I can't this year. Let's just forget it. Yeah. Oh, well. What's that ad? If you're over 40 and you often go to huge music festivals, you may have found that they're actually not that fun. That's us. Yeah. Standing all day, the heat, the crowds. What if I told you you could be at a concert and sit down? To solve this problem, we're introducing the first phase in virtual participation using drones. Wow, new technology. You had to be there. The absentee concert goer experience. We wanted to create something beautiful, functional, and durable and something that lives comfortably in your living room. And we did it. It was hard, but we're pretty good. And here's the kicker. When the show is over, you get a certificate signed by the festival organizers saying that you attended the show. Let us bring the concert to you. I mean, it does seem like a better solution than actually going. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> Nice to see you. Oh, hi. I'm so excited for this festival. Hi, me too. My boss is being such an asshole. Okay, well, this is our lady vacation. Yeah. Boy, Boy crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the theme. I got the email. I got the reference pictures, feathers. Yeah, it's going to be a whole feather thing. I mean, okay. not too over the top, but let me just try this little head piece. Oh, yeah. This is great. Okay. Boy, crazy. I can do that. Boy, crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, last year we did horseback riding, but this year music fest, so <laughs> yeah. ladycation. Ladycation. And boy crazy. Yeah, it's about the music first. Okay. Sort of like last year was about the horses Yeah. First. I mean, last year you got crazy with the horses. I was horse crazy. But this year, boy, boy crazy. crazy. Boy crazy. Boy crazy. When should we change into the outfits? I don't know, maybe let's go to a rest stop, get some snacks and change. Okay. Boy crazy. <laughs> I can do it. Okay, ladycation starts now. <laughs> I hope you wax. What? Thank you, pick a on. So he tries to get in with a blue laminate. I'm like, you're not allowed back here. Excuse me, hi, we're here to check in. How many people are with you and uh, what band are you in? Uh, we have seven of us okay. and we're more Flaming Lips. Flaming Lips, yeah, the Flaming Lips, that'd be us. I'm sorry, who are you? We're He's the Flaming Lips. coin of the Flaming Lips, but we are more Flaming okay. Lips. Is this one band yeah. or two bands? Well, it used to be one. What's the name of your band? More Flaming Lips. What's the name of your band? The Flaming Lips featuring Wayne Coyne. And, and I'm I'm Wayne Coyne, so I mean, that, that's... Hey, David, I think we have a double booking. I just think in terms of laminates and wristbands... So... Flaming Lips, not Flaming Lips. We win. And, and who's your band? Who are these this people? This is the Flaming Lips right here. They graduated from the Berkeley School of Music. You know, Learning they... my chords. I, I don't we, 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 we don't need the history, history because, because we just want to get the no. laminates to you guys. And who is this guy? Sean DeVino is our new singer. Hey, wait. Yeah, wait. Hold on. Do you realize? It's very passionate. Excellent. Nice. Will you guys yeah. sort this out, please? Because this is too confusing for us. Yeah. Okay, we'll discuss that. We don't care. Hi, uh, I'm John Lemonstein. I represent the Flaming Lips, both versions of the Flaming Lips. I know hey, it seems David? like a crazy but Yeah, they're lawyers here. Look, someone bungled this thing. Helen bungled it. She's been let go. We're going to work this out internally. Great. Maybe in the shade. It's hot out here. I've had a bad nap. OK, we'll give you the laminates. Yeah. And here's your personal helmet. Wow. Ha, it's a lot lighter than I thought it'd be. Yeah. Oh, and uh, these will be you. Woo. It's going to be insane. How close can we get to the band? Can we just go right up to the front? Hover above the front row, yeah. Why not? I already feel relaxed. Just no crowds. No lines. If anything happens to these, your address is printed right on the drone. If anyone finds it, they'll bring it right back here and give it back to you. Huh. Here's your beers. Look at this. Wow, we're uh -huh. really at a festival. Oh, sure. Oh, before I forget. You're gonna love it. You're gonna go, oh, that little detail. Ah. Now our house smells like a porta potty. Right? Oh, yeah. You like that? Here's your laminates. Oh, man. Yeah, I wish I was going. Oh, you're not going? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. 
Um, but I just learned that the customers really like to hear that. But are you going, going, or not going, but going? The whole drone thing uh, makes me nauseous. Should I take a Dramamine? If you get nauseous while you're wearing this, throw up. That's part of the experience. What are the FAA regulations with this? I mean, Shh, no. No, don't worry about that. About what? About I... the FAA. Why is that? Because it's very easy to down a plane with one of these. Don't worry. All right. Yeah. Let's go. OK. All right. We're going to go to the concert, right? right Here we go. Right, to the festival. Let's see some music. Woo! Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Well, have a great time. Fly! Well, you continue to look amazing. Thanks, baby bird. Did you clock that construction worker? I did not clock that construction worker, and I'm not wasting this outfit on that guy. Yeah, but seriously, guys who work with their hands can be pretty great, you know what I mean? Yeah. Still, I did not tan for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're seeing that? Top bun? Top bun. How could I miss it? It's substantial. It's confident. It's beautiful. He's hot. Is he looking at us? I wish I could tell. I just did not bring my glasses. That was a big mistake. I think we should bite our lips. OK. Wait, how are you doing it? The right way. OK, you're using way too much teeth. Is it like this? Yeah, I'd go with the second one for sure. Oh. I feel boy crazy. Oh my god, me too. But I'm really feeling it. <laughs> you think I'm boy crazy? Yeah. Do you think I'm boy crazy? I do. I am. I am. I am boy crazy. No, you are boy crazy. Do you think he's going to the festival? We got to find out. This is the guy. Mm. Peanuts. They're leaving. Where are they going? We have to follow them. OK. <sighs> <laughs> this is incredible. Whoa. My body feels like it's floating. So we don't need to follow the highways. Let's just go right there. OK. Go left. Up, 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 up. Your shoulders hurt? It's making me a little dizzy. I'm just going to be honest. Oh my god, look at this line. Oh boy. All right, well, I guess we'll just get in the back of it. Oh, no, no. We don't have to. We can go over. Right. Uh -huh. It's called the future in modernism. Hi, sorry. We're wearing a flaming lip shirt. I've got one, too. Mine's black. Your number one fan since the early days. Hey, look at that. There's a fan. They are just jammed in there. These people are already waiting at the front of the stage. They're going to have to keep that spot all day in order to see the band. <laughs> yeah, we love you. Get lost. Oh, what's going on? Ah, oh, someone here got mad. Get out of here. Come on, let's go this way. OK. So it seems like our best bet is that one band plays, and then the other band plays. We can all agree on that. First of all, it's important to remember we're all sitting on haystacks. Everyone is happy. They're willing to have you go first. If you go first, do you think you can pretend to be excited that Wayne is coming on second? Great news. They've said they'll go first if you'll continually thank them during your set, and you've got to trumpet them. Will you trumpet them? They say you can perform Do You Realize to your heart's content. You can't sing the chorus. I think he's afraid of you, Sean. I think he knows you're good. There's a positive in there. Wayne thinks you're good. No. If you do anything from the second album, no full songs, only medleys. No. They said no. Uh, want me to go back on that? What if we kissed a third band into the deal? That's a no. He's asking that you guys open with Louie Louie. No. Someone's got to get up there to sing. Pass. I feel like I'm negotiating with myself, guys. Are we going to try to save this deal? <laughs> oh, Sean. Where is Top Bun? We'll OK, Laura, him. I don't see him, actually. We'll find him. How could you lose him? We didn't lose him. Look, do you want to go back to the gas station? And... Wait. What? Look at that couple. Where? Over there. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that. She doesn't seem to mind those weird little pink arms. Yeah, that's the best vantage point. It's like being up on someone's shoulders. You can see everything, but you're with the person you love. So close to them. Oh, I got to ride on top on shoulders. Oh. oh, my God, that would be so cool. Remember that French guy I dated? Oh, yeah, 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 with the croissants. Wait, there's Top Bun. Oh my gosh, she has a conga. <gasps> it's so dumb that it's cool. It's sexy. Yeah, it's like he doesn't even care about anything. It's making me boy crazy. We can't afford to lose him again. OK, I am behind you every step of the way. And I will be behind him every step of his way. Go, 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 go! We're going to go? <laughs> Load, schedule. Coachella from last year, no. Load current schedule. Oh, wait, OK. 
What about Peaches? She's on in like 15. Let's go see Refuse first and come back for Peaches. Okay, okay. Isn't it this way? Mm, that's the wrong way. I'm gonna go up above everyone just for one second and I'll see. Okay. Whoa! Nice, easy. Okay, so it's just this way. We're gonna miss Peaches. Okay, okay. Step on it. All right, let's go. Faster. I'm gonna destroy that bun. Oh yeah, I want that bun. Hot bun. How boy crazy am I right now? You seem really boy crazy. I want to be on the bottom of that top bun. So, brother, this is our time to make our move. <sighs> All right, what do we want to do? I mean, I guess. What's we just... the game plan? Is it me or you? It's us. Look, we said we were gonna have a killer weekend. Are we gonna do this or what? <laughs> yes, this is good. All right, got some speed here. This thing's fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but if it comes down to it, you're fine to watch us. Fine. Yes. Okay. Good. Oh, no. Oh. He lost it. Oh, he needs it back. Yeah, we gotta give it back to him. Oh, smell it quick. Where are you at? We gotta find him. Oh, no. We have to find oh, no, him. Oh, no, where is he? He's here. Yeah, He's here. Go, 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 Hi. You're on top of us. I think I hit somebody. Shit. Wait. Don't forget your meal tickets. I think I made it worse. The flaming lips won't be here. Why won't they go on stage? We can't relitigate the conversations I just had. It blew up. They're angry at each other. It was partially my fault. When we sold passes to this festival, we sold them with the idea that the Flaming Lips would be headlining the second night. Do you guys have any suggestions? Do have a contract? No, I know there's a contract. The Flaming Lips have never violated a contract. Okay. I wrote the contract. You need to hear those songs. Otherwise, not only are we not going to pay you, we're going to sue you. We have two Flaming Lip bands, and then now we've got zero? We How do we go from two to zero? And soon there's going to be three, because Sean is dynamite. Get your band on stage. It's not working. Uh, so you're telling me to my face that there's going to be no Flaming Lips on stage? Just tell me right now. Say that. Hey, David, I want you to listen in. No, 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 David doesn't need to come down. David, you want to come down here? No, I'm trying to work this out. OK, the Flaming Lips are supposed to perform live. David, he's saying the Flaming Lips are supposed to perform live. All the guys had a big fight. What would make, what David, would make happy? David happy? What would make David happy is what would make the crowd happy. We want some Flaming Lips up there. For the Flaming Lips to appear, it would have to be, credibly, someone who is associated with the Flaming Lips. We want to hear that music. I don't care who sings it. OK, the Flaming Lips are getting on stage. Great. The Great. Flaming the Flaming Lips will be appearing tonight. Well, that's what I need to know. That's all we need to know. I think Flaming Lips are playing soon. Brendan, there's a campsite over this way. Let's just cut through. OK, main stage bound. Let's go. Oh, man, I love chopping wood. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see the Flaming Lips. Yeah. yeah. So this is a whole weekend here. Yeah. I hate camping, especially at a festival. Who the hell is that? Wow, this is cool. Whoa. Hey. See me knock that drone down? Out of the sky. Oh, sir, excuse me. Holy crap, this thing speaks. What's your problem, man? Wait, what, you got a problem? You're just like some kind of problem guy? Huh? You're a tough guy? Yeah, I'm a tough guy. Yeah. What are you, some sort of nerd sitting at home with your drone? You want to fight? Brennan, I don't, I don't know. You're just a little drone. You think I'm not scared of you, man? I'm going to seriously kick your ass. What's up, man? Bring it. You want a little piece? Yeah, I want it. I don't want a piece. I want the whole damn thing. I'll get you, man. Come on. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Take that. I can help you. I just need to power this up. Power on. Ah, nice motorcycle, buddy. Yeah. Hi ah. Yes. <laughs> you see that thing? Cut my face all up. So mad. Kill that. Hey, 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 hey. Ah. There's an address. What happened? Any signal anymore? Damn. Uh. Let me connect you to me. We'll just go on one. Okay. Hold on. Ow. Ha. Can you see? Yeah. Let's get out of here. 
I'm the only one who is legally allowed to sing this song. I apologize. Hit it. Do you realize? So depressing. I'm like totally boy crazy. There's no boys. <laughs> What's the point? Plus, I'm like melting. No, you're molting. Either way. Well, let's just go home. Are you sure you really want to go home and miss it? They sound good. Realize. But let's just go. Baby bird. Yeah. Baby bird, baby bird. Oh my gosh, it's Top Ben Man. <laughs> let's go. Beautiful face. I don't know what this is. How do I turn my volume down on this thing? Yee. Yee. This is awful. What is that? Hold on. Hello? charging us for this. Hey, he's not charging us. You're paying for this. What is this? What is this all about? That billboard party. Remember uh, that? I, I think so. I thought it was cool. What? Okay. You didn't introduce me to Sean Penn. You guys were standing there in the hallway, talking, laughing. I mean, you know how much I love colors and at close range. And I mean, we saw Dead Man Walking, opening night. Yeah. Milk yeah. and yeah. Fast yeah. Times at Ridgemont High. I, I do. I mean, Sean I Penn is my top you. three favorite living actors. Oh, he is great. Oh, yeah. Razor's Edge? Oh, yeah. I'm walking up to him. He's blowing me off. What is this? What are we going to do? What are, this is? I can't believe he's doing that. I, <laughs> it's hard. It's, why don't we be the ones playing for? Want to get back up there together? Why don't we? All right, cool. Here we go. Ah! Hi. So you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Do something? My bun. <laughs> yeah. Please. Uh. We both found it, by the way. We did. We both found it. Mostly yeah. I carried it. Thank you. Anything else you need help with? Jesus. What? I'm here to see the flaming lips. We are, too. Yeah? Oh, yeah. We see them all the time. You realize the sun doesn't come down. Oh, thank God. Thank you, everybody. Brendan, hurry back. It's the lips. I'd like to thank you for finding my bun and offer you a ride on my shoulders to wash the flaming lips. I can't believe you cut me in the face with a drop. Brendan, the flaming lips are on. Should we go check it out? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, 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 yeah it's all right. Oh, wait. You ready? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> How do you feel? Safe.
still bitter. It's stronger. Remember last night when we had pizza at that art gallery? It was so fun. That was two nights ago. No. Yeah, we had pizza with Kyle, and then we went to Brandon's art opening. OK, then what did we do last night, then? Last night, we went to Janet's. We had Indian food. And then Lisa came over and showed us her tattoo. Right. OK. This is going to sound crazy. What did we do tonight? I don't remember. When did Jimmy get back from Europe? Two years ago. Well, how crazy was that? He seems happy. When was his wedding? That was last summer. No, this summer. <gasps> no, three summers ago. No. This winter. This winter. It was freezing. When was Christmas? They didn't do it. So Brandon had his art opening. That sucked. No, no, no. You're confusing that with Ronaldo's art opening that we went to about a year ago. Right. At that gallery, and you really hated it. Because there was nothing there. Yeah, it was very conceptual. I hope I don't miss it. Well, you won't, because you already went. <sighs> Time is just all blending in together. It is for me, too, but. It's all right. I think this is what happens. All right, well, good night, Carrie. Good night, Fred. Oh. Oh. Slept like a ton of bricks. Ah! <gasps> ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm, I'm sorry for screaming. I was just kind of horrified. Well, I'm horrified, too. Look at this. Look. I know, the grays came in all at once. What am I, old man winter? That's been some kind of a mistake, I'm sure about it. It just doesn't make any sense. Fred, it makes sense that you would go gray at your age. What do you mean, my age? How old are you? Well, let's figure it out. Um, high school, that's like 18. And college, 22. Now I'm playing music, and I stopped playing music, so I met you. 32. Fred. What? I'm not 32? No. I'm very 32. You're not. How old do I look if I just pass by you really fast? If, I, if I'm like this? Um, 44? Like about to turn 45? This is horrifying. You know, I needed some warnings for this. Wasn't your 40th birthday warning? No, something physical. Something like, you know, a bum knee or just like, it, you have to like, it has to be gradual. Well, how old does it say you are in your driver's license? I don't know. There's, there was a number on there, but I scratched it out. It was like too upsetting. There's a way to verify your age. There has to be. OK, Mom, how old am I? You, you're my sweet baby boy. Mm. Hey, love you forever. Love you forever. <laughs> OK, what year was Fred born in, though? Oh, it feels like it was just yesterday. But technically, it wasn't yesterday. Was it yesterday? It feels like it. December 4th, you were an early winter solstice That's gift. That's right. Yes, you were. What year? And you loved horses. I really did. You did, especially Palominos. Really? That's the, I don't were. remember that. You were. I like Palominos. Hey, like, guys. Dead. He seems to be an adult that doesn't know how old he is. I mean, that reflects a little bit poorly of you as a mom. Are you saying I'm a bad mother? No, 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 oh. she's not saying that. Remember I took you to that Fleetwood Mac concert? That's right. Oh, All right. Oh, OK. What album? Who was that? Rumors. 1977. You, you 1977. What a great album. What a great tour, I bet. Oh, how yeah. old were you? I had such a good time. And my first concert was when I was 10. 10 years old. So yes. wait, if your first concert was when you were 10 and your first concert was in 1977, you're 48. 48? Well, I am barely 48. That's physically impossible if you're Fred's biological mom. Are you sure you're not skipping the 80s? You should be happy. This explains everything. You're 48 years old. That's why you're gray. Your gray hair looks so nice on you. Shut up, Mom. Oh, Why don't you go gray? Freddy. I need proof, Carrie. I need, like, visual evidence that I'm this age. Where are all my photos? Everything on my phone is only for, like, the last year. Mm -hmm. And then everything on my laptop is, like, the last, like, couple years. I need to see evidence of that last 18 years. I know it's in here somewhere. I feel like I'm, like, Rip Van Winkle and I just woke up. You're not Rip Van Winkle, and also you haven't been sleeping. I know I have some photos in here. Okay. This is honestly, it's gonna take. 2002. Ha ha. I feel like you're really going down like a real nostalgia hole right now. Look, finally. All my discs are in here, but I need the key for this. Do you have it? Is there a key holder somewhere? Fred, 
please just put stuff on the iCloud. But I have it all scattered across all this stuff. Hey, do you know if like a jazz drive can hold a zip disk? I would say no. It doesn't. I, I just don't understand. Like a picture is not gonna be the thing that's gonna help you feel the passage of time. Okay. I need one of these stickers so I can label these. You just did the old man glasses thing. No, I didn't. I just can't read it without this. Let's do this. Let's let's open these all up and let's... Did you get this text from the mayor that says, come meet me at my office? No. Ooh, maybe he has a crush on you. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, my God. Remember this? Happy birthday! Hello? Hey, hey, you look great. Well, am I supposed to be here? Yes, come in, come in. Yeah, you're wearing a robe. Yeah, sit down, don't you remember? Mm -mm. Well, let me refresh your memory. Okay. Five years ago, today, you and I, Carrie E. Mayor, made a deal. It's pretty cool they're serving pizza at an art gallery. Right? Well, it's really good. Yeah. Thank you. Kind of kids' food. It is kids' food. Yeah. Are you thinking about having kids? I mean, uh, sure. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if I was with the right person. Well, yeah, listen. Five years. If you haven't found anybody, um, let's get together. And we'll have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. See you in five years. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a silly little like, ha, -ha you know, small talk. Well, now I feel bad. I thought it was real. <laughs> People make these kind of vague future romance packs all the time. It's just a way of putting off like a bad sex idea, like Ooh. indefinitely. So how many kids do you have? None, because well, it's a... Now's the chance. In fact, I have right here a canister of prime grade A. Is that your sperm? Yes. Do you just keep that here in the office? Every mayor does. Every mayor has a canister of sperm in a beer fridge behind their desk. What about female mares? They don't have sperm. This is very embarrassing. No, it's not. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> this is weird. This I is know weird. it's a little it's weird. It's something right? I have to kind of chew over. Speaking of chewing, I opened a tin of celebratory gum. 12 bucks. So you know it's going to be good, right? I mean, I'm a little offended you didn't just go for a champagne. This is better than champagne. It's $12 gum. You're going to love this, Carrie. Mmm. That is so tasty. It's just gum. Mmm. Take all the time you need. Okay. And it's I just... know it's a big decision, but don't think of it as having my baby. Think of it as having your baby. Right, but that's your sperm, right? Yeah. Mmm. Well, thanks. I'll, you know, give it some thought. Okay. Hey, can't wait to have a lot of little carries running around, huh? huh. I'm not homeless. I'm sentimental. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hi, how are you? Um, I I'm have... good. So I have all this stuff, mm -hmm. and all my photos and everything are on there, and like all these devices, this hard drive, and I, I just want to like put it all in one place. Ah, OK. Yeah, you want the cloud. Yeah. I can move everything to the cloud. Thank you. All your stuff will be in one place. Thank you. For six months. And what happens after that? The river. What is the river? The river is just like the cloud, mm -hmm. except that they're not compatible in any way. Right. If you try to move a file from the cloud to the river, the file will get destroyed immediately, mm -hmm. and your keyboard will get really hot. So I don't want that. I've tried the river. And? <sighs> yes? Yeah. What? There's still a few bugs in it. All I want, I need evidence of my life. How old do you think I am? 67. 68? This is the problem, OK? Mm -hmm. I'm practically a teenager. Oh, are you familiar with the concept of entropy? Vaguely. Entropy is the idea that everything is sort of descending into chaos and disorder, aging, forgetting, rotting. That's all entropy. Even if we're all decaying, I still want something somewhat permanent that I can, in my lifetime, enjoy. Well, I'm saying nothing is permanent because of entropy. Would you like to stop entropy? Yeah. Well, well then, then you must stop time itself. OK. Is there a way we can arrange to stop time? I'm not that special a specialist. Is there some kind of a super specialist? Matt? Mike? 
Is the astrophysicist off his lunch break? So you're the manager here? I'm an astrophysicist, if that's what you mean. Okay, let me tell you what the problem is. I'm basically 32, okay? I'm into music, I walk around, have a cup of coffee, you know, like wear like cool clothes, got a little shirt, you know, little black pants. And then you guys come in going, no, uh, there's been a mistake, you're 48. Us guys, do you mean the science community? Because yeah, been... you guys messed up. And when that happens, you should own up to it and fix it. I don't know what I can do for you. We can't make time go backwards. That's not something that happens. Your passage of time explanation, it isn't applying to me. Uh, it applies to It's everyone. false advertising. It applies to everyone. It's false or... advertising. I don't see how it's it... false advertising. I mean, say it. That's, a, that's what it is. I don't see how it's false advertising. So if, if Hershey chocolate says, we've got this great chocolate bar, and all of a sudden you open it up and it's yogurt, what, what is that? It's false? Advertising. Do you turn away people when they complain? Generally, we try and hear people out if they have an alternate scientific theory. Okay, my scientific theory is, the opposite one I like to offer you is, give me my money back. This isn't a retail transaction. This is science. I'm not gonna leave. Okay, you you have to do something. I can't change the laws of physics. Is there a black hole? Can you find a black hole for me? I beg your pardon? I've seen Interstellar, I've seen movies, and certainly you have it within your power as a manager to get me a black hole. Is that so hard? You know, you're lucky I'm not my dad. He'd have his finger in your face. Okay, so you are thinking about having a child. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the very early stages of considering it. Still on the fence. Well, let's take a look at the chart. Okay. See what the chart says about your fence. And uh, according to this, you're a couple years away from being an old spinster. Okay, so if I don't have a kid, then I'm just an old spinster? That's what it says right here. It says a couple years away from being an old spinster. That's not on the form. No, that's not on the form. But these are the terms people use. I don't make them up. I guess I think that there should be more positive terms. Is there one? Sad woman. No. Sad neighbor. No. The lady who went to Peru with Gail three years ago? Why can't I just be Gail's friend? I don't see that catching on. I mean, who's Gail? And actually, if anything, you want to get to know Gail and not her friend. You know what? I prefer old slut. Why don't people just call me old slut? Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. You're an old spinster. Let's leave it at that, huh? All right, let's take a look at the old ticker. I thought that's the heart, the ticker. Uh, well, let's call it the tinkler. <laughs> Whoa, it's deserted in here. It's like an old folks' home. Hey, nobody comes and visits me. I'm lonely. <laughs> spider webs. <laughs> hey, Janine, can we get some new spider webs? These are clumping. Uh, whoa, is that Walt Disney? Hello, sir. I see they're keeping you nice and cold. Because <laughs> he's, he's said to have been frozen. You know what I'm saying? Your cooch is kind of cold. Is there a, a female OBGYN? There are female OBGYNs, but I can tell you this right now, and I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. I can promise you that. But they're not funny. Your uterine lining has deteriorated 40%. Loss of tissue, narrowing of fallopian tubes. OK, I, I get it. Decrease of estrogen. I, I get it. You know what? I actually prefer the cartoon doctor. Spooky! Woo! Was that a bat? <laughs> it's not a bat because it's a spider because I don't know where the new girl puts the bats. We used to have bats! Anyway, listen, I think you look good. If you uh, want to pop out a goonie or two out of this old pirate's cove, I think you've got time. Oh, you're actually being serious. Okay, look, we've had some fun. We had some laughs. Uh, I know you had a great time. For me, yeah, it's been a hoot. But I think at the end, we kind of surprised both of ourselves by getting at something real. I want to see you go out there and make a life for yourself. Get a baby inside you, huh? I'm fine. I went into this business not just to make money. I went in this business to meet women. Get out of here, you old slut. What do you guys think of the mayor? Well, I voted for him twice. Mm -hmm. I meant it more like, what do you think of him as a man, as a, as a partner? Really? Yes. OK. Wow. He wants to have a baby with me, and I do want to have a kid. And you're actually thinking about this? Absolutely. Is that crazy? I would take his sperm, and I already have a husband and children. <laughs> I would also take his sperm. 
Right. Through a turkey baster, you're not just. Well, I was sort of saying I would sleep with him. Actually. I would. I would. Yeah. Even though I'm married. Right. So how I'm in. Yeah. You know, you're gonna get fat. You mean pregnant? That is. My fat. arms that is used fat. to look like my wrists. Ass doesn't grow out. It grows to the side. But not in a fun way. I will say this. Mm -hmm. My boobs have never looked better. <laughs> <laughs> my boobs sagged a bunch. Yeah, well. Is see, there anybody else on the table? I mean, have you exactly, considered that's anyone That's exactly else? what I'm thinking. I guess there's friends that I'm closer to that I haven't really considered. Look, there are different kinds of qualities in life. You know, you have, of course, money, success, and oh, then you yeah. have other things. Compassion, yeah, friendship, kindness. Well, what about that, uh, what about the, the guy you live with, like the little cute? Oh, yeah, with the glasses. Well, that might be weird because we know each other so well. Frank. Frank. It's not Frank. How tall is Frank? Five. Mm. Oh, she said 5'11", I would have been like, meh, meh. You know, we all have our flaws, Carrie, but... I mean, really, if you're not, how's your baby gonna model? I mean, miniature stuff, maybe, but that's about I it. I guess I wasn't hoping that my kid would be a model. Maybe you're not ready to be a mother. I'm excited for you. Yeah. For the first time in my life, I feel like you're really gonna make something of yourself. And Carrie, darn it, I'm proud of you. What sort of a theme should we do for the baby shower? Winnie the Pooh. and now I'm in this black hole. Oh yeah, my hair went gray at 33. It did? Yeah, but I didn't jump into a black hole. Just dyed my hair and moved on. Really? You dyed your hair? Oh yeah, it really sets the clock back. Okay. Well, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Say hi to your mom. Good luck, Freddy. Hey, doctor. It's a scientist. Yes? Can you get me out of here? Scientifically, that's impossible, but then again, none of this makes any sense, so. I figured out all I have to do is dye my hair. Dyeing your hair isn't really significant. You really need to do something worthwhile with your life. You want to really change. Worthwhile. I gotta do something with my life. Hi. It's nice out, huh? House is looking good. Hey. Hey. So I have some pretty big news to tell you. Well, I've got some pretty big news, too. What? I've been thinking about my life, and I worry that I've wasted a lot of time, so I thought that one thing I could do... Fred, do you want to have a baby with me? Yeah. Great. When do you want to do it? Right now. Up we go? Yeah, let's do it. Great. OK, I'll get this off. OK. Then... Get to see you naked. I know. Have you seen my penis before? What am I, old man winter? I know, the grays came in all at once. You're 48. I need, like, visual evidence that I'm this age. Is that your sperm? Yes. Let's get together. We'll have a baby. But seriously, if you uh, want to pop out a goonie or two out of this old pirate's cove, I think you've got time. You really need to do something worthwhile with your life. Fred, do you want to have a baby with me? Yeah. This is it. We're having sex. Yeah. When are they going to do it? All right. Well, why don't we ease into it? Okay. Like what? It, right. 69 is this, 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 this. 
It's like an X, right? Right, so I get aroused, 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 go on top, on top, on top. A uh, little jackhammer, kind of, I mean, do you want a dry hum? I picture eyes closed, maybe hands out to the side. Do you need magazines? Yes. Okay, well, I just have the New Yorker. Kind of a slow reader. Anything there about foreign people, just kind of like Euro ladies? Well, I think there's a thing in Talk of the Town about a woman that's like shopping at a local farmer's market. Y yes? She's at the farmer's market and, and she's feeling around for, for melons. <laughs> Pants off? Shit. All right, you ready? So this is me, I'm coming towards you. Okay, I'm, then, oh, I'm spreading. There we are, and, and that's me, right there. And in. And out. Yeah, but not fully out. No. Just in, in and out. out. In, in and, and out. out. Here we go. So I'm almost gonna do it. Okay, great. And great, great. here we go. Good, 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 good. Ta-da! <laughs> You just finished on my stomach. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm just so used to doing it that way. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, let's try again. Okay. We get started and in, in and out. out. In, in and out. out. There we go and ta-da. You did the same thing. Don't worry about it. I can just use the mayor's sperm. The mayor's sperm? He gave me a canister of it. That's great. I want some of that. You didn't really need me then, did you? This was kind of like pity sex in a way. I mean, you're my best friend. I guess I felt bad that I wasn't gonna have a baby with you. Well, then we dodged the bullet. I'm glad we didn't have a baby. All right. Hi, um, Mr. M. I used to go to school here, and you were my guidance counselor. Hmm. It doesn't ring a bell. Remember? My hair was darker. Oh, yeah, I remember now, little Frankie Armistein. No, Fred Armisen. That's what I said, Frankie Armistein. Well, I'm 48 now, and I haven't done anything with my life, really, except for, like, going gray. So maybe you could help me. Hmm. I've got some brochures here that you might want to take a look at. Have you ever thought about going back to school? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's like I wouldn't even know where to go. Damn. I'll tell you what, here's one on marriage. Getting married. By the time everything worked out, I'd be like 55 or something. Damn, there go another one. You can have a baby with your female best friend. You know, I've tried it already and it didn't quite work out. Did you on her stomach? Yeah, I went on her stomach twice. It's just like out of habit. Is there anything I could do that's just instant and immediate? You know, no training, no years, just something quick. Uh, no. Uh, damn. Let me ask you a question. You ever think about moving to a new city? Moving to another city, huh? Yeah. Why is it good to move to another city? That's an instant conversation piece. Everybody in Portland will be saying, wow, little Frankie Armstein moved out of town. He's bettering himself. You think people would react that way? Yeah, because it's a brand new environment, brand new lifestyle, and you can make brand new friends. Austin, for one, is a good place to settle. Austin? Austin, Texas. But do I have to apply? All it takes is for you to get in your car and drive. That sounds pretty great. All right. Hey, yeah, I'm moving to Austin. I'm leaving here, leaving Portland, and I'm gonna kind of be technically a Texan. I'm gonna have a baby. Finally, I have a purpose, you know? You're, they're making fun of me that I'm, I'm an Austin guy. No, I'm not. I'm gonna visit. I'm basically gonna go home and like put a turkey baster at me, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm moving to Austin. He heard me, right? I'm gonna have a baby. I moved to Austin. Austin, Texas. I'm having a kid. Austin, Austin, Texas. Baby, baby, baby. Howdy. Austin. Portland. Listen, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Bad news for me, I'm losing one of my best Portlanders ever. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Good news for you, he's coming to your city. Oh, well, that's wonderful news. Can you give him a good Austin welcome? Well, of course. We'll get him a big hat. He'll fit right in. Well, I appreciate it, Austin. Thank you. Keep it weird. 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 He's in good hands. Hey. It's hitting me like you're, you're actually leaving. Yeah, I'm like really moving. We're gonna be just old friends now, like. No, I mean, there's still like, you know, airplanes and Skype and everything. I know. I guess what I'm saying is I'm gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too. I should probably skedaddle. Yeah, yeah, you should, you should get going. I mean, I suppose the car is kind of like a horse. You know, it knows its own way. Are you doing an accent? No, it's still me. Okay. You should probably, you know, use a map or... Well, I mean, I got my guidance and I got my, my wits. Uh, 
I feel less and less like I'm gonna cry. Well, maybe because you know that we're good friends for life. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hug. Now you get over here and give me a hug. Okay. Good old Texas hug. Nope, just in Texas they hug the same. Okay, well, drive safe. All right, let me wander into the car. Don't forget if you write a letter to put a stamp on it. Drive safe, friend. You know, the postman don't deliver on Sunday. You know that, I hope. Your trip to Austin has been shortened by seven minutes. Oh, great news. In 1,000 feet, turn left. Thank you, Maze. Wait a minute. It's a dead end. Would you like to reroute to Long John Silver's? No, I don't want to reroute to Long John Silver's. What kind of question is that? Boy, it's a lot of side streets. I'd like kind of more of a direct way to uh, Austin. I found a shortcut. Recalculating. In 100 feet, proceed through graveyard. Uh, does this seem right, Maze? Oh my god. Where am I? Okay, so are you basting something? My ovaries. Nice, congrats. Thank you. Hold on a sec. Hi, can I help you? Are you Carrie? Yeah, why? I found her! <laughs> Sorry, who are you guys? We're the mayor's kids. You're a new mommy. I think you're mistaken. You're definitely not my kids. And the mayor does not have kids. <laughs> I appreciate you coming by. You guys are really cute. And I'd be happy to buy whatever you're selling. Welcome to the family. Whose family? I have my own family. OK, well, thanks for coming by. If you'd like me to sign a petition or. Is that your kitchen? Yeah. Let's get a snack. You guys are getting a snack here. We're home! No, hey, I don't think so, guys. Hey, come on! Yellow. You already have kids? Yeah, I got tons of them. Why? I'm so confused. Why would you ask to artificially inseminate me if, if you already have kids? Well, I said if you didn't have anything going on. I'm the mayor. I got lots going on. There was never any question of that. OK, so, so you want me to raise your kids? Yeah. We're out of OJ. I thought this could I mean, be a nice way to practice. You know, have a few Dad, kids around the house. Dad. Dad, 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 dad. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, yeah, dad, yeah. Dad, 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 dad. Hey! These kids don't have any manners. They're all over my kitchen. They're drinking my orange juice. They're drinking your orange juice! I thought you wanted a baby. I do want a baby. It's just. Hey, look, kids are crazy. You just gotta roll with it. All right, have fun. Bye. Thanks. All right, I just got off the phone with your dad. I'm sorry, I'm a little discombobulated. He uh, doesn't understand us. But you do. Really? You know, if you want, we don't even have to invite him to Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think you were getting ahead of ourselves here. I don't know. We're kind of a family now. Yeah. You're like the best mom we've ever had. We love you. Hi. Hi. On behalf of Austin, Texas, I'd like to welcome you with a little gift basket here. We got Dos Equis, some barbecue sauce, and a few chilies and other doodads. Thank you very much. That's so kind. The mayor will see you now. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Hey. I I'm Fred. So nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Please sit down. Yes. How was your trip? It was really good. I just came all the way from Portland and... <laughs> I'm moving to Austin. Yeah, so I heard. Oh, listen, this is for you. It's something just to make you feel a little more at home. How's that? Well, that looks all right. That looks all right. So have you decided what neighborhood you might want to live in? Uh, I'm thinking someplace cool, like a cool part of town. Cool part of town. Well, listen, I've got just a thing. The housing department and the department of the mayor present how to find a cool neighborhood. I'm your host, the mayor. Well, this looks like a pretty cool neighborhood. Got a coffee shop, it's got a record store, it's got three bars. All the bartenders got real instant hair. But it's not the cool thing. You know why? Strollers. That's right, strollers started popping up everywhere. Pretty soon there was a baby clothing store on the corner. Not cool. Take a look at this neighborhood. It's a dump. It's a kind of neighborhood with an intimidating cat. Not cool. Oh, here's a neighborhood. It's got a coffee shop, it's got a record store. It's only got one bar, but the owner went to high school with Iggy Pop. Cool. What you're looking for are people like this. Her, her, him, him. What you're not looking for is him and the cat. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Not cool. Welcome to Austin. Did you enjoy it on a scale of one to five? 
Five being the best, one being the worst. It's five all the way through. Well, then we have done our job. Enough with the pillows, you guys. All right, this is the house. Mom, what? Gus locked himself in his room. Wait, he has a room? Yeah. I'm not talking to anybody. This is the bathroom. No. We can't hear you. We can't you. hear you. What? Are you and Dad getting a divorce? Uh, your dad and I aren't even dating. Well, when your baby finally arrives, are you still gonna love us? I don't love you. I, I, I've never loved you. The only relationship I have with your sisters and your brother is that you're living at my house. Do you guys want to get orange juice? Do you want to get some OJ at the store? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Baby, you're so tasty, tasty. I don't really want to waste it. Baby, let's get hasty, tasty. I love it when you shake that. So put your back into it and let your mind go. You got to run right through it. Then make my mind go wild. I know you want to go crazy. I know you want to go wild. Austin, yeah. I moved here. Yeah. Hey, neighbor. Hi, I just moved to Austin. Yeah, I, I see that. I live here now in Texas. That's where we are. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, this conversation is a little boring. I'm gonna head in. No, 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 don't go. You know what? I have more to say. A little announcement. It's kind of interesting. I'm moving. I'm gonna move cities to Nashville. Nashville? Nashville, Tennessee. Wow, man, that's a big move. Yeah. It sounds like you got a lot going on in your life. That's a big step, that's great. Good luck. Thanks a lot, bye. Yeehaw! Hi, I moved here. So what? Hi, I moved here. Whatever. Get on the boat, fix the sails, tie her down. What is this place? Seville, end of the line for drifters and wanderers. Where did that boat go? It's the biggest move of all, move abroad. Wow. You'll be an expat. Okay. Get on the boat. I just moved here. Heidi, tidy man, the oars, the next bat I shall be. Your life abroad, they'll all look up when I show my foreign ID. Hey, that's me. Idly, idly, woodly, we living across the sea. Old friends will wonder where I've been. I heard from Jack Pease in Berlin. Sailing all the way to Gay Paris. I'll probably grow a goatee. You seem cooler now. Merci. As time goes on, we won't go home. Abandoned friends in old time zones. Yes, we'll miss weddings and funerals too. Surrounded by strangers and lands that are new. I never really thought of it that way. Um, I thought this was a pirate ship. Who the hell are these people? We're sailing away to the setting sun And I will speak Dutch as my native tongue We'll all disappear, disappear like Robert Crumb Cause Paris is cool and America's dumb We're off to where the grass is green Say goodbye to this old routine Give me only sweet oblivion We're Never? Not coming home. I'll never see Carrie again. Turn it around! We're never Edgar, turn, please! Home. Turn around! I don't want to go!
smile. Moon smiled back. The end. Can we sleep with you tonight, Mommy? Yeah, I want to curl up on top of your head like a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. What's that? Look, that's your daddy's sperm. What? Why is it in that weird can? It should be stuffed up inside your body. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I've been busy with you guys. Mm. What? Yes. Oh, gross. Are you even a real mom? No, I've been totally clear on that. She was clear about that. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Wait, look, but guys, I mean, where are you going? We're running away. No. Hey, get back here. I don't know, what kind of a family is Yeah. You're like the best mom I've ever had. We love you. Why is it in that weird can? It should be stuffed up inside your body. body. How's my baby mama? Uh, well, her kids, I mean, your adult kids, uh, they ran away. Did you make them mad? Apparently. It's like they loved me so much, and then they just turned on me so quickly. I do that. I have a pretty good idea where they are. Hi, right, just take us to mom, please. Oh, this is mom. Please silence all cell phones and pagers. The play you're about to see tonight is based on real events. I'm mom, a lonely woman in the world. I want to have kids, but I don't know if I'm ready for it. Can I love? The answer is no. I'm this knock, knock. <laughs> Will you let no, us no, 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 stay, stay, okay. stay, stay, stay. Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> it's rooms and a bathroom and a kitchen. Wait a minute. Hey, mom, can we have some orange juice? This is my house. Carrie. These are my things. That's, that's not how it happened. No! My OJ! OK, well, that's true. They drink all my orange juice. No. Yeah. Mayor, it's me. I just want to be a selfish, single spinster all my life. I don't need anybody. I'm not talking to anybody. I'll buy you some OJ if you come out. Jesus, there's 10 acts. Yo. Just being a good mom. I love it. Time for orange juice at the supermarket. Terrible play, but I just feel pride. What's happening? Your mom. You just lose all perspective and love everything your kids do. I hate that. Is that sad? Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Hawkins, and I'm a gynecologist. That's nice. Well, we are here to celebrate a very special woman. Now, I'm not a pastor. I'm a guy who gets my fingers in. Kitty! Fred! You're back. Yeah. And your hair's black. What are you doing? Are you tying the knot with who? Yeah, no, I'm t it's, she's tying the knot. The, the tying her tubes. I'm tying her tubes. I'm a gynecologist. Oh. Exactly. I mean, this is about self-acceptance. I accept who I am, which is an old spinster. I've come to a huge realization of my own about accepting myself the way that I am. Then why did you dye your hair back? That's exactly it. I don't accept the way that I am. A little one, that's all. I mean, I... I accept you for that, then. Wow, I mean, maybe that's why you two are such, are you friends? Come on. Maybe that's why you're such good friends. Are you such good friends? We're yes. such good friends. Maybe that's why you're such good friends. Because whether or not we accept ourselves, we accept each other. No, oh. I felt like you kind of begged it. Right. Woo, ow! Woo! That's nice. Yeah! Come on, come on. Well, we've got, all our friends here, and there's cake. I mean, I know the sex thing didn't work out, but... It never does. But maybe we could just get married. I don't think so. OK. My heart was pounding there for a second, because I'm a gynecologist. I don't know the first thing about we that. I'd love to give it a shot. Already. Come on. Yes. Well, you're here. We've got a crowd. I've got my equipment. Why don't we tie up that cooch of yours, huh? Doctor. No. No, 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 no. no, no. You know what, I'd prefer if you just gave Fred a vasectomy. I'd love to give that a shot. That's beautiful. Hi, I'm Katya Gordon. I'm Gordon Katz. And we're the founding members of the Wow Band. You've never heard of us, but you've definitely heard us. 
we invented a whole new kind of music. It's twangy, stripped down, and sensual. It's called premium cable title sequence music. Listen. Wow. We invented this music. Here's our first big hit. I don't know who you think you are, but before the night is through, I want to do bad things with you. I felt like I just got gangbanged by a vampire. I want to watch the rest of that show to see what falls apart. These TV shows need a type of music to go along with the grittiness. Discovering a body in a bed and going like, another day. We pretty much use the same instruments for every show. A little, just a couple sound effecty things to evoke images of a, a skull or something, but it's pretty much slide guitar and a little bit of stand-up bass. Yeah, it all happens in Pro Tools. Cut and paste, this one goes here, and if we put the chorus from the other song over here, then we have another song for another show. The crow flies straight. Over a big line. They asked us for a song that was 17 seconds long. We said, absolutely. There are some theme songs we wrote that don't even have a show yet. Take off that dress, let it fall on the wooden floor, whiskey. Oh, bad, bad, bad. I might be a cop, but I'm bad. Take off that dress again. She took her dress off twice. Order now and you'll have all your favorites in one place. Including this one. Three, four. You know what we should do today? We should go to that new graveyard in Gresham. Yeah. How about going to that pile of rocks in the middle of the road downtown? Black candle shop? I don't really feel like it. The coroner's office? We did that last week. What's wrong? You know, I noticed that at the seance, you weren't having any reaction. You know when that little chandelier was like... <laughs> Everyone was freaking out, and you just sort of looked away. I mean, summer's almost over, and I've barely been out in the sun. It's like we're always indoors. I know it seems weird, but I kind of want to go to the beach. Yeah, I want to see the waves lapping onto the shore and puppies running, fetching sticks, umbrellas, taffy, boogie boards, beach blankets, beach balls, no. ski doos. Mostly I just want to get some vitamin D and maybe feel the sand between my toes. I don't understand you. It just doesn't seem like us. It's not like our thing at all. It's not against what we are. It's just part of who I am. Just that sun. <laughs> I would just rather be there at night, if anything. Vince, when's the last time somebody looked at us and pointed, or their jaw dropped? Remember, we used to walk on the streets and people's eyes would like pop out of their heads. Now we walk around and people smile at us. Maybe at the beach at least we can be like, <laughs> and then everyone will be like, <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen your body in three years, but I remember it being pretty buff. Oh yeah. I think we could have fun. What are you reading? Oh my God, Corner Magazine. You know, embalming fluid is free in Honduras. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hi. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The way we listen to music has changed so fast in the last few years. We all put our music on iPods and iPhones and Androids. And then Spotify, Pandora. We went from digital files to digital streaming. We all put our music where? The cloud. But I just bought that and then that's over, but oh, I'm supposed to have this and it's the new year and then suddenly, where is my music living? It's like being at a restaurant with a huge menu. Too many options. Too many options. It almost makes you want to give up listening to music, right? Right. We are here to introduce to you the new evolution in music. Thank you, Irene. 
Introducing the one CD that's been in your car for the last 10 years. We are talking about the most reliable form of music on planet Earth today. You turn on the car and it's already playing. At the volume you want, it's ready to go. And you can't beat the quality. This is top quality digital sound on a compact disc. You remember some of the CDs you got in your car? We're talking B-52's Cosmic Thing. R.E.M. Automatic for the People. Smashing Pumpkins, Gish. Love that one. Limp Biscuit. Love that one. Indigo Girls. Love that one. The one CD that's been in your car for the last 10 years. The best of the police. The best of Journey. The best of Billy Joel. The best of Foreigner. The best of Elton John. Love that one. The first Cars album with the girl like. The other Cars album with the girl like. And the other Cars album with the girl like. Or then that later Cars album when the girl's like. Fishbone. Right? Fishbone. Remember your Fishbone CDs? And of course, the Cranberries. The one CD that's been in your car for the last 10 years. What about a demo? Feel like hearing a little music? I do. Huh. I feel like it should go there, but that doesn't fit. What's going on? There's no slot for the CD. I guess the, the car just has a USB jack and probably some kind of Bluetooth shit. Well, that's what it looks like. One CD that's been in your car for the last 10 years. Not in this car, though. You know what? Record player. The record player. <gasps> oh. You don't need Wi-Fi access. You don't need an iTunes password. No, oh, it's skipping. I don't know where I put it. You know what? F music. It's skipping is crazy. Young man go. You know all the hits, but here's a bonus CD of shows that haven't ever gone to air. Snake Skin Dentures. Tree Cutter. The Crooked Cop Who Loved to Drink. Dirty Mountain. Mexican Hat with Regular Cowboy Hat. Drunk Cop. Memphis Darkness, Nashville Darkness. Uh, there's the Alabama Dirty Grit that's coming your way. Premium cable title sequence music. We're offering it right now for the next 30 minutes on our own private audio streaming service. Wow. Right now, here we are way out in the forest. And we can listen to our music right now, just on... Darn it. Well, you get the idea. Order Blau. Excuse me, sir. I'm a TSA pre-check person. How do I avoid this line? Uh, this is pre-check. What? You want to get in a regular line? No, but I'm, I'm going to miss my flight. Uh, well, you look nice enough. Uh, this is what you need. Want to skip the line entirely? Sign up for TSA Red Carpet, the most special, exclusive line at the airport. I gotta sign up for this. Right this way. Thank you. Thank you. We want to tell you about TSA Red Carpet. Thank you. Thank you for the appointment. It's above and beyond. Okay. This is the TSA list. What you do is you flash this. Okay. People applaud right away. Okay. You could bring anything you want onto a plane. You could bring seven bowling balls. Mm -hmm. You could bring thumbtacks, a nail gun. You could bring out a nail gun and point it at people. You could bring a nail gun or, like, weapons on a plane? Did you just say weapons? Are you making a joke? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You're allowed to make jokes. With TSA Red Carpet, you can stand up there with a microphone and do stand-up for an hour straight. And the punchline to every joke could be, that's because there is a bomb on this plane. I don't see why I would do that. You're, you're not interested. No, you're not interested. Do you want a new life or not? I do. Okay, let's do the background check. Okay. <sighs> Did you get a pepperoni sandwich in Chicago? How do you know that? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you ever consider having uh, hair and makeup done before getting on a plane? Oh, um, sure, I guess, yeah. You know what's a, a look people don't do enough is like really frizzy, like yanked out hair. Would you like to be made love to as you go through security? One thrust in, and the next thrust, you're on the other side of the gate. That sounds, um... You, is that a no? You don't want to do that. I don't. Dana, have you ever considered changing your name? I mean, do I have to change my name? Like, is that part of a... What about Dansa? Dansa Miss Banana. Dansa Miss Banana. Dansa Miss Banana. Dansa Miss Banana. Dansa. Sure. It's a weird one. Is that a family name? Is Banana Spanish? You know it's a Spanish word for banana. Okay, well, um, 
you are approved for TSA red carpet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Well, you've got to wait. Uh, it's a waiting list of five years. So we'll see you back here in five years. How is three o'clock? Where are you headed? Houston. Off you go. Oh, no. So the hearse is dying. It's not dying, it's dead. How are we supposed to get to the beach, then? Let's bow our heads. Hearse, the car, the conveyor of death, you will live forever in darkness, in the deep pit that is my heart, and in the black stone that is Vincent's soul. So you hide all the little coffins up there in hearse heaven. Can I help you? Um, we're looking to rent a car. Do you have a reservation? We don't. We do not have a reservation. So we have something available, this family cruiser? A family of what? Uh, Ravens? Mourners? No, just people. Do you have anything in black? Well, we used to have this one. Isn't that nice? Did it die? Uh, no, it's in repairs right Was now. Was it smashed up? A little bit. They didn't find the bodies? Uh, there were no bodies. Just a simple fender bender. Do you have anything that kind of resembles a, a hearse? You know what? The closest thing would be sort of like this. It's like a big truck. Would a coffin sort of just... Yes, I mean, it would be swaying from side to side. We would have to strap it down. Do you have coffin straps? We don't. You don't have any. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to go to the beach. This is just impossible. You're going to the beach? Oh, you want a convertible? No, we do not want a convertible. My hat, my hat would fly off within seconds of leaving the parking lot. Got it. This is, you know, $24 okay. out of my own money. You know what? We do have one that came in really late last night, around midnight. Midnight? At the stroke of midnight? Oh, let me see. Oh, yes. It did come in at 12.00, the stroke of midnight. <laughs> What's happening? We're just celebrating that it was midnight. It's a sign. Oh. <laughs> well, congratulations. You just got this car. <laughs> OK, let me just print up your agreement. And when is it due back? Whenever you'd like. I mean, how long do you need it for? How long is your beach trip? Several days? Okay, so that's 99 bucks. That's a deal. Wait, who's paying, who's paying for this? You are. You have the wallet. I have to put my card down? It's under this whole... You know, the problem with having to get the card all the time is that no one thinks that... Do you need some extra help? damn it. This is why we do stuff online, so that I don't have to. Oh, you're actually gonna get points with this. Nice. Great. If you guys have any questions or anything, you can always call me, I'm around. <laughs> Had fun at the beach. A couple of sweethearts.
Oh, people are, people are really staring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so effective. You know what, let's sit over there. That looks good. Well, I'm gonna get in the water. Try to have fun. Uh, is your watch broken? Uh, it's junk. <laughs> hey, where are you from? I'm from Romania. Oh, Romania, wow. You look hot. Yeah, I'm really baking. My abdomen area is like really, really sweating. There's heat coming out of my neck. Come. Come. Oh, my name is Vince, by the way. I am Radu. Radu, it's great to meet you. My friend, you need a beach outfit. I just don't know what someone of my look wears here. But the beach, it has its own expression, its own style. I have been collecting all these years. Let me share with you what I have found. Are you familiar with Billabong? Uh. Billabong, kind of fratty, but they pop. But doesn't this? kind of look too colorful and like... Vince, Vince. Sometimes to have a good time, you have to dress a little lame. Shorts from Pac Sun. Mm, maybe some Hurley. Mm -hmm. Some more Hurley. You can never have too much Hurley. Maybe some Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Do I just put this on over my outfit? You can ditch that. You're at the beach. Oh, okay. Hey, um... Where in Romania are you from, anyway? Transylvania. Here we go again, back on the scene. About to have everybody looking at me. You guys lose a football? Hey, that's such a great outfit. Where'd you get it? I met this guy from Romania, and he had it in his trunk. He's from Transylvania. It's so summery. I love it. Thanks. Thanks for coming to the beach with me. Thanks for getting me to go to the beach. Play some more football? Always. Okay, black, six, six, six. Hey, hey, hey. Inside the perfect day, dream, thinking Woo. of a time when everything was so much happy ending. This one for all the underdogs. All the people say, That was fun. Quite. <laughs> I'll go back next summer. Me too. All right. I'm on my way out. How's it going? Making a lot of headway with the spring cleaning. Look at this. This is every key I've ever owned, Claire. Seems like garbage pile for that. All of these keys? Yeah. No, no, no. This is going to be in the maybe pile. What's the maybe pile? That's the key maybe pile. That's the papers maybe pile. That's the pillow maybe pile. <gasps> Claire! I have never seen that before. Misfits! I've been looking everywhere for this. It's a collector's item. Walk among us, remember? I don't. All I ask is that you pare down by the time I get home. Do you think this is a good guitar? No, it's a toy. Remember what I looked like when I was looking at the screen? Doug, enough. Don't you see this is important to me? You getting rid of this stuff, it's stressing me out. Don't you see that this is important to me? This is like part of my life. And the compromise is for you to organize it and put it away. Yes. Pare down, organize. I will. All right, good luck. All right. Hi. Hey. Thank you for driving. Yeah, you bet. Oh, my God, your car is so clean. Yeah, Rob got it detailed for me yesterday when he got off of work. He's so nice. I know. Claire. Yeah? <laughs> Hi. So glad you didn't leave yet. What's up? Um. What is it? I can't find the iPad anywhere. I was going to bring it with me. I want to watch Vikings. Sure, Doug, yeah. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Nice car. Yeah, thanks. Yes. Woo. <laughs> okay. Bye, hon. My knees are in dog shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Good to see you. You should hose that off. Please, before you get in the house. Yeah. We're off. Bye, Claire. No, oh, it was me. I was just looking at my notes the whole time. Oh, you were great. Your PowerPoint was super tight. Thanks. Where is Rob? I texted him hours ago that we didn't get the account, and he's totally AWOL. Well, Doug texted me once, and it was asked whether or not I liked pizza. 
<laughs> like, how does he not know whether he likes pizza? Oh, it's so selfish. He can't do anything without me. It is selfish. Yeah, I'm sick of it. This guy's a clueless. Hi, are you ladies over 21? Oh my god. Hi. Hey. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought I'd surprise you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you want to have a fun night? Oh, I need a fun night. Good. Hey, Claire, fun night? Um, you guys have a fun night. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right, bye. Bye. Claire, I'm so happy you're home. I burnt my hand. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, trying to use the oven and I didn't have a mitt. Wait, you were cooking? Yeah, I was warming up a pot cookie in the iron skillet. Ah, oh, this is so much better. <laughs> what do you think? The shirt's framed, baby shoes framed, every toothbrush in the last two years framed. <laughs> Doug, I'm not up here at all. It's just you. I'm done with this. You don't ask me about my day or my job. Uh, we never go to museums. You don't talk to me about books you're reading. Claire, I'm sorry. H how was your day? Do you want to go to the museum? How's your job? Did I tell you about the book I read? I need someone who can take care of me. Hey, I can take care of you. Ah! How, Doug? Uh, I was going to try to rub your thigh. I want you to move out, Doug. It's a bad new day, and I feel fine. It's a bad new chance to get it right. Oh, it's a bad new Good. How'd you sleep? Really great. That tent is really, really well made. So you like the tent? I love it. You know, it's going to be hard getting over Claire. Um, but the tent is helping tremendously. It's such a good tent. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... But you don't want something that's a little more, like, private and... Permanent, maybe? You know? If I do anything, you know, maybe I'll just, like, build a place. You mean build your own house? Yeah. You know, you need load-bearing beams. Yeah. And then glue a uh, doorknob on there. Have you ever done anything like this, like a birdhouse? I don't house? Think so. Have you ever done anything like this at all? Does not a chef look at a recipe book before he cooks? Did you ever hear that saying? It's like, I can do it if I learn as I go. Right. But, yeah. I mean, you would need a space. Where would you even build it at? Um. That's a good question. I have an idea. Can I help you find something? Oh, yes. I'm looking for band t-shirts. Band you know? t-shirts. Yeah, right this way. Um, are you looking for a certain kind, like a tank top or a distressed look? And it's um, the Misfits. The Misfits. They have this logo what? that's like a skull. A skull. We have some skulls. I don't... Oh, here. That's a skull, mm. right? No, it's like black and then like the skull is white. 
Oh. So all their, their whole theme is like scary things. Cool. What's an album? I'll check it out, actually. Okay. Uh, Walk Among Us. Walk Among Us. Cool. Uh, I don't think the, any of these are the right ones. Yeah, so. I'm so sorry. I'm, I don't think we have that. It's funny. I used to actually listen to them on cassette. I don't know this band, the cassettes. It's not a band. This oh. is a format of music, so. Like Pandora? Even better than that. It's even better. It's like for music is nerds. Is it an app? It's an app. Yes and no. You like know a lot about music, huh? <laughs> well, thank you very much. I, that's really nice of you. I mean... What's your name? Oh, it's Doug. Doug. Kendall. Okay, Kendall. Oh, I, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, can I have your number? Oh, is it for the store or...? No, for me. Yeah, great. His AQ cheek was so good. Right. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a it's a lady, right? They're all ladies. Yeah. So is, is she transgender? Is it about what a god is, is, or is it about the horse? Either way, it's still effective and pretty powerful, as far as I'm concerned. We'll see what the ending is. I thought it was interesting that the horse was female, but she still had a penis, so the phallus was kind of a representing woman. I was curious, what do you think of them casting all women? Is it the director emptying out the contents of the God Complex? Oh, interesting question. Um, perhaps, or maybe they're just reinforcing monotheism. Yeah, I think that's totally right. Well, I like how you think. Thanks. I'll tell you a funny story. I saw a production of Equus in London in 1979, and the entire cast was horses. I'm not kidding. And it was beautiful, because these animals were thrusting and name. Mm. Mm. And I was just writhing right there in the theater. I did not care. That sounds incredible. A lot more incredible than the uh, goat they're using in this production. I'm sorry. Oh. It was nice to meet you. It was really nice to meet you. And what is your name? Oh, I'm Claire. I'm Candace. Maybe you've got a phone number or something. If you'd like to come over for dinner, we can continue our discussion then. I, I'd love that. Yeah, I, I have a card. Claire Jones. Okay, well, I'll give you a call. Nice to meet you. Hey, it's Doug. Hi, let's FaceTime. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Hi. How's it going? You look really cute. <laughs> Thank you. This is where I live. Oh. It's actually on the top of a mansion. <laughs> Hello, Claire. This is Candace Devereaux from the play the other night. H hi. Did you think it was me? I didn't know who it was. I didn't recognize the number. But something made you want to answer. <laughs> Do you want to come out with us? Now? We're going to go dancing. I'm kind of in already. Really? How about maybe Friday we do something? Yeah. I'm having a dinner on Friday night. Are you free by any chance? Yeah, I can make it. I can't wait to see you. I'll see you on Friday. See you soon. Bye. How's it going? Good, how are you? Sorry about the car. It's just like they make me put on that like mustache. What? No, it's awesome. I love it. That's like, kind of embarrassing. I don't even have a license, dude. Do you know how to drive? <laughs> oh, well, it's pretty easy. I'll teach you. Are you serious? Yeah. It's park, reverse, drive, left, right, Doug? windshield wipers. You're amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. No, but no, you're amazing. Just put salt in it, just, so just, you could, look, just toss it, no, no, and just, if you gently, just, if you're fluffing it without stomping all over it. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to try something really good. This is Chateau du Ciel, 1992. Here. I don't want you to open a special bottle. It is so good, I got it when I was in Bordeaux. <sighs> okay. Now try it. Mmm, what do you think? Well, it sort of has a warming effect. <laughs> There's something very tingling, sparkly, unexpected, a depth, just illuminating every fiber of my being. Awed by her splendor, the stars near the lovely moon cover their own bright faces. <laughs> Did you write that? Claire, my dear, Sappho. Toss the salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Back when I was a kid, we had these things called home phones. It's like a landline. And then buttons that stick out. So you just go, beep, boop, 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 boop. Hi, guys. So what's everyone having? Um, vodka? Um, beer. And for you? Uh, I'm gonna do a Laphroaig. What's a Laphroaig? It's a scotch. So what's like the difference between a scotch and a whiskey then? Oh, it's geographical. So, you know, if like this is Scotland here, whiskey from Tennessee, uh, Canada, who cares? <laughs> um, <laughs> good night. I'm just trying to clear Stop. some of these. No, no, no I just, leave it. I wanna help. That's for me in the morning. No, leave it, leave it, leave okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. It all stays. I, uh, I feel like I should go. No, you should stay a little while. I have some desserts, some chocolate mousse. That's homemade. Is there anything that you can't do? Mm. Well, I'm... I can't stop staring at you. Dougie. Oh, this is the most amazing place I've ever seen. It's perfect. Wow. You're perfect. I hate to think that anyone ever told you you weren't perfect. What? I feel so not judged by you. Mm. Play me a song. Okay. Oops. I got a tune. The captain steers the ship to the right, to the left. The captain steers the ship and then he turns it around and goes back to the port. Get the captain. You're a genius. Did I? I'm still... It was amazing. I feel alive and confused, but but happy. I've never said this before, Claire, but it was too good. I'm worried about my health. I'm worried about my emotional health. My hair was shaking. I went off instinct. I don't know who taught you or where you learned to do what you do. It's intimidating. How do you look at that mouth? Aren't you going to eat breakfast? Yeah, I am. Hi. I just sleep good. Last night was so fun. It was so fun. You yeah. fell asleep, though, pretty fast. Yeah, I was, like, really zoned out. Yeah. I was thinking, maybe today, just me and you can hang out and do something. No, because we have a whole day plan. We're going to take mushrooms and go to Savi Island. All right. I'm so hungry. You want to get some coffee and muffins and stuff? Yeah. Mm. Hey, Doug. What's up, man? I'm going to go get some coffee, Finn. Can you grab me some coffee? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, man. Just like that, the end. I wish I didn't have to leave this bed. Well, don't. Just stay. I can't. I have work. I have clients. No, just stay. I can take care of you, Claire. No. Claire, I'm rich. I invested in feminism in the 70s. Please. I would never let that happen. I've paid my way through college. I paid for everything. Claire, if money was no object, you could do whatever you wanted, what would you do? Maybe I'd go to Alaska? No, no. In a life way, bigger than that. Mm, I don't know. I mean, maybe I would go back to school for literature instead of business. OK, I'd pay for that. <laughs> Honestly, I've been self-sufficient my whole life. I, I would never let you do that. Claire, you've never had the opportunity to find out who you are. I see so much more for you than just working for somebody else. And let me help you. I could support you. You're a gypsy, and I could be your, your female Quasimodo. Just a, a hunchback, but who stands up straight for you. I guess I never thought of my life like that. I mean, I have a head for Claire, you're a painter. Get to painting. I don't really know how to begin. Claire, you're a natural artist. What am I supposed to paint? You know, I, I think in numbers. I think in terms Shh. of what... Stop. Just start painting. You're so beautiful. I am so beautiful. Now tell the world. I... 
stop thinking. Just paint. Okay. Get the grapes. Get the grapes. Okay, I'm, I'm painting the grapes. You're an artist. Look at the canvas. Now look at me, both at the same time. Get the grapes. Question yourself. Fight with yourself. You're an artist. Put the brush down. Okay. And look at it. You're Michelangelo. I'm painting. I'm painting your knees and your legs. And your... Don't forget the grapes. You're blocking my view. Say hi, Dougie. Trying to like drive. I'm trying. My body feels like. Oh no, are you okay? Oh, oh, oh. what's going on? Oh, it's don't gone. puke in the car, guys. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let it's it not out. okay. More paint. Don't look down. More paint. The thighs. Get to the thighs. No. Go again. I should shower and get out of here. Let me bathe you. Do you have a shower? I think it'd be faster if I just bathe myself. Shh. I don't know if this is relaxing. Let me hum to you. Mm -hmm. Can you grab me a towel? Mm -hmm. Oh, ready to hop in the shower, Candace. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just calling to change the gas bill information, but I don't want to close the original one. So we I moved to. Puppies. Oh my god! The new address the is um, two nine one. Can you see it? It's so cute. It's so cute. It's okay. <laughs> but she's still living there, but oh, I'm the one who's honey. moving. Stalled her. Sydney. Right. Oh, you guys are gonna have to stop off at the vet to make sure they get all their shots, especially that little one. Also, when's the last time that they were walked? Does anyone know? They're so soft. Hello, softest puppy in the world. Oh, Doug, I think he peed in your bed a little bit. Puppy pee! That's okay, right? Puppy pee! <laughs> it's not okay. Puppy, puppy, puppy. What do you think of just staying in and watching some Netflix tonight? <gasps> you know what we should do? We should make our own movies. Starring the puppies! Oh my An god! An action movie! Superhero puppy! <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I might do? I might go try to work tonight, you know, drive around. Okay. Would you be mad? No, of course not. Well, um, I'll see you guys. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm gonna miss you too. Claire, it's really, really perfect. <laughs> I think it looks silly, but. You know what I'm gonna do on Monday? I'm gonna call my friend at Reed, get you enrolled, and you're gonna get your MFA. That was kind of just fantasy. I'm not really gonna go to grad school again. But you could just live out your fantasy. I'll do it. Hold on. I can also set you up in the extra room on the side, and you can do your paintings, and I can help sell them. Candace. You have been so nice to me. You've done enough for me. I've never felt more taken care of. But I like my life. I want to go home. I want to shower. I want to go on a run. I want to go to work tomorrow. The car is coming in about three minutes. The car? Are you sure? Why don't I walk you three quarters of the way? I'll call you in a couple days. A couple of days? What am I supposed to do? Sit here and look at my cup? No. I'm going to leave. This has been great. All right? I'm playing tug of war. You have a tight grip. I'm trying to let go, but... We're both not letting go, isn't that weird? No, I'm actually, I'm totally let go. You're still holding on. No, what are you trying to do to me? I Stop pulling me to you. Oh, okay. Look at this lifeline that leads right to my house. Candace, bye. Claire? Doug? Um. I guess I'm taking you home? Yeah. Hi, I'm Bryce Shivers. And I'm Lisa Eversman. Are you a scientist? Are you a chemistry professor? No? no? Then fill your room with science, science lab, lab furniture, furniture for men. What is science? You don't know. That's fine. Do you like microscopes and little beakers and just fill your room with it. Put it on your shelves. Guys like this kind of thing. It's not sports, it's kind of smart. Ooh, test tubes. What are they for? Does he do experiments? You want this? $400. $1,500. $800. How much is this one? Price. That's a little bit of money that we've just spent that we don't really have anymore. Where are we at? A dining room or a lab? I can't tell. You can use this for desserts, even if you have some pussy. Jesus. 
That's $600. Science Lab Furniture for Men. You can get something like an old dentist chair and put it in your living room. This is great. Damn it. What looks cooler than a periodic table? Or a flask. Or a Petri dish. Or a beaker. How many beakers are there even? I didn't actually fall or break anything. I just walked into that room and I saw one of those big metal shelves just fall over into another one. And it was like a domino effect because then it hit into another one and another one and another one. That's science. Great. So I'm going to take one of these beakers. How much is it? It's $400. OK. Yes. OK. Let's go. Sync up the app. It is synced. Oh, there we go. Oh. So what does it do? It, it tells the time. It's very exact, 12.23. Hey, Dave, there's a fitness app. Where, where, where? Oh, there, I got it. I see it. Dave, I just took a step and it counted my step. 9, 30, 31. Oh, I'm at 37. If you run in place, you get more numbers, look. Oh, really? Wow, this thing's amazing. Dave, this makes me think we're not getting enough steps in our life. There's got to be a way to get more steps and faster. Runners, take your marks. Get set. Go! Look how many steps we're doing. We're going to set a world record. Ow! Ow! Ah! Uh, I heard a snap. I can't move my foot. I'm going to try to keep going. Me too. Ow. We're still in the race, right? Yeah, I'm winning still. No. Come on, guys. Hey, come on. Ow. Yeah. Come on. Ow. I'm going to just crawl, Dave. Yeah. We're still in the race. Yeah. I'll finish for the both of us. Yeah. Kath, I'll cheer you on. Go. Ah! I believe in you. Yeah, I'm trying to, but Uber's saying it's gonna be like an extra twenty dollars because of surge pricing right now. Do you want to ride? No, I'm okay. You, know, I'm gonna call a cab. Good luck. Mm. I would like to order a cab. Can, can I do that still? Where are you now? Um, 2105 Killingsworth. 2105 Killingsworth. Did you do a call? Yeah, I'm just standing here for a little bit before I leave. The cab should be pulling up right now. It's pulling up, okay. Going to 4600 Northeast Fremont. Okay. Oh. Sorry about the smell. If you turn the AC on, it's super hot in here. The AC is broken, actually. Uh, it's heat only in the car. The windows don't work either? No. Uh, I do have some, some reading material. Would you Would you like to read the paper? Getting sick, I think. Okay, I'm sorry, but like, shouldn't shouldn't you have turned a while ago? What? Like, where are you going? Let me call it in. <laughs> Dispatch. Yeah. What street am I on? I can't... Look at the the street signs. Uh, he's looking on the computer. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just look look this up on um, on Waze on my app on my iPhone. Dispatch will tell us. Can I get a location on my car? I don't know. 
copy that. You know what? Just anywhere is fine. Just I just pull thought. Over. The... No, this is fine. This is this is actually where I was going. If you could just pull over. Go ahead. Never mind. Copy that. Let me out. No, I was dropping passenger off. Oh, uh, we don't take credit cards. Well, I don't have enough cash. I have five dollars. So, so can you just take me to an ATM and I will get you cash? So, how much was it? Uh, it's fifty-one dollars. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't. I can't break this. Uh, Sorry, do you have small, do you have smaller bills? No, take all of it, actually, because I feel sorry for you. I guess anywhere is fine, huh? Yeah, we're allowed to park wherever we want. There we go. Show me your crutch. Show me your crutch. Coming in. Hello. Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Uh, we'd like a booth, please. Oh, a booth. Actually, it looks like all of our booths are full, but we have a table. It's got a lot of leg room, um, a lot of space. For what? Well, S speak. For the, the, the scooter and for the crutches. The scooter and the crutches. You know that there's a person in the scooter. I have a name. I'm Kath. And I'm Dave. Okay. Hi. 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 Look at me. I don't want you to see the scooter. Okay. So just look on there and see if there's an opening. Okay. Um, you know what? A, a booth just opened up. Thank you very much. Wait. Was that so hard? Clear a path. Make a cap path. Keep staring, everybody. We notice. I'm not a spectacle. I need this chair cleared. Someone clear the chair, please. Okay, I'm... How many times do you have to say it? Coming in hot. I'm sorry. It's all right. Oh. Back there for you. All right. Get that foot up on the table. Uh, there you go. Whew. So much better. I guess if no one's going to give us water, you want some water? Yes, please. Thanks, honey. Yeah, this is what it's like. Thanks for helping. This is wet. Can we get another menu? This is a wet menu. Hi. Okay, it's a delicate balance ignoring us and paying attention to us. Um, and you're not hitting that balance. All we need is to order our food and be treated like normal people. Well, I'm the host and I don't usually take orders, but I can go grab your waiter. Oh, so you need like a special waiter to like roll up in a wheelchair or something like that? Um, I can't even read this. Do you want me to get you a different menu? No, no, I don't need anything. I'm not a baby, I'm not a little child. I, I don't need a high that, chair. There's not a problem with his brain or his eyes. He can read that menu. I'll do the... Uh, the tuba. Tuba, the tuna? Yes. Okay. I'll have the lamb. The lamb. And no, you don't have to cut it up for us. We can use our hands, okay? You... We're like everybody else. All right, I'm gonna go find a waiter and give him your order. Don't worry, we'll tip. Okay. This is great, I'm having the time of my life. Dave, we're finally marginalized and people are just forced to care. They have to deal with this. Yeah, I don't have to yell. My scooter is yelling for me. You hear that? That's music. Dave. I love you, too. I'm sure that you've all found your spot. My name is Micah. Welcome to the Silent Retreat. You've read the literature. You know that it's two days of complete silence. So thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you. No, don't, don't answer me, because this is a silent retreat. So it's the sound of the birds and the trees and the ground that we are focusing on so we can focus on each other and ourselves. That's all. And we're gonna begin in three, two. Okay, I can hear you exhaling. Sorry. Why did you speak? Okay, we're gonna start once again and reset. You're doing that on purpose. I'm sorry. You know very well that that's gonna drive me crazy. I don't care because it's outside of this jurisdiction. God damn it. Where was this? Here? Oh. Sorry, did you guys see a dog running through here? We haven't seen a dog. This is a silent retreat. Okay. 
Good luck with you guys' retreat. Tubbs! Stop looking in that direction. This is the retreat is here. Toby! Any noise that she does here, does not exist. So if I'm a person coming through here like, hey, 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 what time is it? What time is it? Good, this is great. Hey, wow, there's a coyote and a wolf coming right this way. Great. Meow. 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 Are we gonna hear you for the next two days? No talking at all. No, well, I would like to know because we paid for a silent retreat. I should be able to talk to you and for you to stay like that. Let's reset and... Toby, what are you doing over there, boy? Oh my God. Hey, no, 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 Toby, Toby, drop it. Drop it. Toby, <laughs> drop, drop it. Toby, come here. Hey, 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 put that down. Welcome to the silent retreat. Me, I'm not gonna make any sounds whatsoever. Three, two, one. <laughs> and resetting. Is this the American Disabilities Act Portland Coordinators meeting? It is. You found us. Wow. Our family, brothers and sisters. Hello. Our ancestors. Um, we're actually right in the middle of the meeting. Well, let's uh, continue the meeting by saying we need to change things now! Um, we actually have an agenda we need to get through. Yes, uh, we, yeah, do. we do. Thank you for saying that. Right on, sister. I think it's about time we have special parking spots. Something close to the front, maybe in blue or green. Am I right? Yeah! Let's hear it! We have them. They're blue. All in aye. favor of blue? Aye. Aye. Uh, they, we got one on the blue, we got two on the blue. It passes. I have a suggestion for changing the world. Yes, in the gray. Ramps. We have those too. No, 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 no. I'm talking ramps. I should be seeing ramps everywhere. Ramps on lawns, ramps in the middle of the street. It should be a ramp world. Why not? And by the way, did you ever notice they only go one direction? They should go both directions. Sorry, we've got to get moving on. Yes, we do need to be moving forward as a people. Okay, any more suggestions for changing the world? Let's talk about beaches. Oh, yes. Last time I went to a beach, this got stuck in the sand. She, she, wouldn't, get, she wouldn't get two feet. If I put this thing in sand, it gets caught in the tires, it comes up to my face, it gets caught in my pone. Do you know what a sandy pone is like? Dry as a bone. Sand, sand in the, the pone, pone, dry, dry as, as a bone. bone. I think, I, and I'm gonna say it out loud, let's pave the beach. Let's, let's pave the beach. Pave the beach. Pave the beach. Pave the beach. Pave That's the right, drum along. Yeah. Drum along. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Sorry, stop, stop. Our, our organization's been running for over 20 years. We're dealing with more nuanced issues now than what you're talking about. Did you ever take a look at this? That's a temporary disability. You're just, you're not one of us. You need to go. It sounds like discrimination to me. Come on, Kath. We're not wanted here. Okay, moving on. You know, I think, Joey, that the reason we brought you in here is because you expressed interest in turning. Now, I can't be a lawyer, why? Because I, well, I didn't go to school for it, right? It depends what kind of law you want to mm -hmm. practice. So what kind of law is this? This is intellectual property law. Right, so someone's like, I'm uh, a cuckoo to clown, and that guy's got another cuckoo to clown uh, makeup on. You know, I, I thought of it, the blue mouth and the white eyes and whatever, and that's my property. You know, you can't use my makeup. I haven't done a cuckoo the clown case. For this week, like, would I just sit here and just, like, take notes? I assume that there are plenty of things for you to do, whether it's filing, running errands, making coffee. Making coffee. Making copies. Baking copies. Making copies. Making copies. Uh -huh. Refilling the copy machine with paper. Somebody's saying something wrong, because I'm about to write down filling the copy machine with coffee. Don't worry about the coffee, Joey. See, I don't want to, I don't want you know what I mean? Yeah, I you know what? I, I need you to file these testimonies. Okay. And I, then... I don't. I do not have my glasses today because I wanted to appear like more professional There's and nothing. not handicapped by my eyesight. You know, look. If... Let me let me show you something. Hold that up. See, I can't. I know the A. I, you know, I don't know. You know, pass on the next one. It looks like. Joey, number... you wrote this. Um, I have to go meet with a client. 
you want me to take notes on that? Well, that, that's not really part of your job as an intern. I don't mind. I'm happy to do it. I got you back. I, I would like to argue that the sample is in, in the IP is basically in public domain at this point. What is public domain? Like Jack Jack the Happy Miner? I don't know what that is. You know that song? Jack Jack, he goes about, he mines all he can. He picks away at rocks and stones. He is a mining man. You know, the old, they sing it in the, in the mines. Well, we're talking about a specific case here. I'm sorry, who is this? This is Joey. He's a, he's an intern. Uh, okay. I'm here to serve you. I'm, I'm the person non grata. Does, it, does anyone want coffee in the meantime? We have coffee. Coffee? I've, I'm good. I guess we could, could order lunch soon. Sure. I'll have a uh, Reuben, please. Wait, 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 wait. Reuben. You know what? Three Reubens. Let's all do Reubens. Three Reubens. I'm gonna get a salad. You want a side salad? Side yeah. Salad? Side salad. So no more Reubens. You want a side no. salad? In, in addition, plus the Reubens. Plus the Reubens. So am I canceling your salad? No. It's three Reuben sandwiches. And we'll do this. Is this today or tomorrow? I'm gonna write out what you're gonna say. It's like a, like a script. Okay. Hi. I'm Joey. No, you're not. Joey, please get in the elevator. Get down to the deli and order our food. Now I would like a cooked lasagna. So just to review, uh, no company shall be required without its written consent to arbitrate any claim or suit if, A, it is not a signatory. You should have told me what the conference room was. You're kidding me. But ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I got food here for them. They had ordered before. We sent you downstairs to get our food two and a half hours ago. Mr. Ted, they gave me fries. Just set it down. I'm new and I'm learning as I go. You do see we are in the middle of the proceedings. Can you pass this down? Thank you very much. This is not a time to have food with all the- Who's these got a Reuben? Who's, all right, Ted? Welcome to the first meeting to form a committee for the Temporary American Disabilities Act. For those of us with temporary disabilities. Here, here, and voila, ta-da. Ta-da, look at us. Burned your hand on a curling iron. You deserve beautiful hair. Carpal tunnel man, you think we're gonna stand by and watch you get judged? Just because you're playing so many video games? That's a real illness. Frostbite from an Antarctic cruise? Man with lower back pain? No, 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 no! You know what's the most important thing about your back? We have your back. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's hear your stories. Sir. I've had my, uh, I've had my sunburn now for uh, eight days. How does it feel? Oh, it's, it's a little stingy, uncomfortable. Do people stare at you when you walk down the street? I just explained that I forgot to put on the sunscreen, you know. Most people are understanding. Sir, you are not a sunburn. You're a human. Ta-da. Ta-da. What about you, young lady? My LASIK's got 24 hours and then I'm back to normal. Better, actually. Wow, 24 hours, you're gonna be living with that. Imagine, they're gonna hear your story. Everyone is, because we're gonna be retelling it to everyone we see. We're here, ta-da, today, ta-da, hurrah. hurrah. We're here, ta-da, today, ta-da, hurrah. We're here, ta-da, today, ta-da, hurrah. We're here, ta-da, today, ta-da, hurrah. hurrah. We have a lot to do today. Ta-da. We need a chairman, someone who could speak for all of us as one voice. I nominate. Where are you going with this, Dave? I'm pointing at you. Kath, my wife. The love of my life, she is a natural leader. She should be our chairman. Actually, I'd like to nominate her. Is he pointing at me? What? The LASIK girl? I'll be better tomorrow. LASIK girl for a better tomorrow. No, that, that can't stand. Can I get a second? How's she gonna argue with Congress and a senator? Let's, let's hear it. Mr. Senator! Mr. Senator! That's beautiful. You all can go with LASIK girl, but if you want somebody who's gonna take your temporary condition and turn it into a lifelong identity, follow me. If you're tired of being ostracized or tired of not being ostracized enough, follow me. If you want justice, you follow me. Kath. What? You're, you're standing. It was fun while it lasted, but the underdog status, that was, that was temporary, you know? We gotta move on. Yeah, and hey, look how many steps we're getting. Wow. Like rolling around, we got like zero steps. There's one day where I think I did 10. Also, we paved the beach. I mean, we complained and someone else hired someone else to pave the beach, but we did it, Kath. What do you think? One last ride for old time's sake? Yes. <sighs> Dave, this is great. Come sit here by me. Dave! Ah! Ah! Dave! <laughs> I'll save you! I got you, bud! Ah! Kat, I'm hurt! Are you okay? No. 
Dave, we're back. Yeah, yeah my back, too. KZS Live Portland. And 97.2, this is Fizzy. And this is Ziggy. Welcome and good morning. Uh, it's just about the 6 o'clock hour. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> I woke up this morning. My wife, she's looking at me. She's like, she got that belly fat. Come on. She's like, I got the belly fat. I, you know, I'm on Tinder now. What? Yes, I'm giving it a try. Fizzy can't get a date. Guy, what's wrong with you? You got a girl here. She's looking great. Her hair is looking, I'm talking a blonde. And we need to clean up on aisle six because she is ready to go. I'm sorry, we're talking about slip and slide. Yeah, baby. Let me tell you something else, too. We got a couple of announcements. Louis C.K. coming up at the Hollywood Theater. Louis, call me, by the way. I'm single. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm OK with a little light spanking. Fizzy, you ever get some of that butt makeup? I, I look, I'm a regular guy. I like rock and roll. I like a hot dog and a beer. But it doesn't make sense. Guys, wouldn't you like it if ladies put a little bit of just some blush on some of them butts? <laughs> <laughs> so Louis C.K. at the Hollywood Theater. 17 years since my last drink. I wish I had one every single day. So you guys know how I dropped out of high school to focus on my entrepreneurial endeavors? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We encouraged you. That's why your mom won't speak to us anymore. Well, I have an opportunity that only comes once in a lifetime, yo. Once in a lifetime? I have seen the future. The future comes is strawberry, blueberry, bubblegum, nilla, vanilla. What am I talking about? E-juice. Ooh. Ooh. And how do you get to this E-juice, you ask? You vape. Smoking is out. Vaping is in. And there's over 45 million analog smokers in the US, but only two and a half million e-smokers. That means this market has a lot of room to grow. In fact, e-cigarette sales have doubled in the last year, going from this to this. Oh. oh. And all these new vapors, they need a kick it spot. They need a place to go. And that's where you guys come in. I'd like to be my partners in opening up a vape shop. There's space currently available, and I think that if we don't get in there and start vaping, somebody else will. What do you say? Oh. We can move some assets around. Yeah, but we could lose our shirts on this. Yeah. Oh. Or we could make a million dollars. <gasps> okay, give it to me. How does an investment of $800 sound. Does giddy up new partner mean anything to you? All right. <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna call this place? I was thinking the Vaped Crusader. Oh, what about statutory vape? <laughs> Go away. Ow. Cheap and shitty storefront design, how may I help you? Oh, that sounds very shitty. We'll be there later today. What do we got? Another vape store. What? It is seriously a planet of the vapes around here. <laughs> when we tear all the wood out, we want to get rid of anything that seems natural, authentic. Get rid of everything here, all those bags. Get rid of the espresso machine. Get rid of that. That all goes. Anything all rustic goes. is gone. Anything authentic, anything organic, anything permanent. The lighting is too warm yeah. in here. This is too, I'm feeling too good about this. You know, I want to see my own zits. Like an old thrift store or something, maybe. No, that, that's even too descriptive. That's too kitschy. It should just be like part of an airport that you ignore. Think of hanging out inside a vending machine. A cell phone store mm -hmm. or uh... Batteries Plus. That's kind of depressing, though. No, nope. yeah. no. Nope. Also, this is a vape store. Yeah. So we want a carpeting that's going to absorb, and I don't mean mask, but literally just absorb the odor so that when people come in here, they're just overwhelmed. Okay, you want it to be pungent. You Jaundice. Want sickly, vomitous. It tastes just, vile. You want it to smell like old bubble gum. Yeah, have you ever huffed an airwick? No. Make sure your bathroom really has got a toilet that's way too high and kind of big. Also, two plungers. Two plungers says it all. And, uh, and you're going to be working here? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't have a job, but it's my shop. Hey, do you think we'll get to meet Louis CK? I hope so. His show is so funny. He performs in it, he directs it. What most people don't know is he edits it. I know that. Editing is the key to so much. I, I know what editing is. Because he used to do a three camera for HBO. Lucky Louie. Yes, you're starting to be a little bit of a comedy nerd like me. But like I Love Lucy, for example, is the three camera. That's one of the first ones. I've heard you do this on dates. Do not explain this stuff to me. Thank you. Oh, this Thank is what you. editing is. Oh, okay, well, you know. Hey. Yeah, I do. Hey. Hi, you guys. If you guys are free tomorrow, come to our grand yeah. opening. You guys have a business? Yeah, we got our own store now. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Maybe you guys can judge the plume contest. And what is it? They blow, like, these beautiful smoke 
hearts and squares with their mouths. It's great. Me and Carrie will do it. When is yeah. it? Yeah. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. We'll be there. Don't flake out. I have not committed, but. Yeah, I'm committing both of us. OK. We're right. committed. OK. Bye, guys. <laughs> what well, look. Right. A vape shop? Oh, vape my day. I am not going to a vape shop. Honestly, it's Ladies and gentlemen, bad. unfortunately, Louis C.K. is not performing tonight due to a family emergency. We can't hear you back here. What happened? There's been a family emergency. Louis C.K. is not performing. Is the show canceled? No, it's been canceled, absolutely. No, it's been, is it canceled or not It's canceled? been canceled. It's been canceled. And what are the chances the show will be uh, back on for tomorrow night? I have no more details at this time. How did you find out? I'm sorry, that's the only details I can give you. But who gave you the details? I am only the messenger. I know, but someone gave you the message. Okay. Sorry, sir. All right. That's too bad. You All really right. are a big fan. Yeah, I'm a comedy guy. Oh, well. Just drag, but... yeah. Hey, Fred. Hey, Carrie. What are you doing with our toilet? Uh, yeah, it's busted. Uh, how do you know? I, you know, stopped by to use your bathroom while I was doing my, you know, regular landlord check-in. Landlord check-in? Being responsible, yes. Is that something that's even allowed? Landlord rights, I'm sorry. Portland has some of the strictest in the country. Let me ask you something. Are you flushing toilet paper down the toilet? Yes, is that a problem? <laughs> That's why, yeah. I mean, you should really go paperless. This is a very old house. 1800s it was built, and the pipes, they're just not made for the super poops of today. I mean, back then, everybody ate flapjacks and radishes. Not like today, where, what do you eat, like quinoa and tofu, that stuff? That's, that's heavy. Uh, when are you gonna fix it? Tomorrow, afternoon, probably. Well, what are we supposed to do until then? And I'm gonna do something for you, but you get a promise. Ah! Oh, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Milton, this is... Ew. Hold this for a second. Disgusting. And it, this is your house, okay? Yes. Well, look, I'm helping you out. This is my personal list of the coffee shops in the neighborhood. And these are the bathroom codes to everyone. Well, it's very big of you to give us your list. No problem. I want that back, though. Well, this is kind of turning out to be a crappy day. You know, it's Sir. like Louis C.K. cancels, family emergency, and now this. <laughs> What's funny about it? What did you say, family emergency? Yeah, Louis C.K. canceled his show. He has a family emergency. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. People just say that to get out of stuff they want to get out of. You don't cancel a whole show. It seems serious. If you had to cancel something big, right, and you just had to get out of it, that's what you say, and then nobody will ask you, oh, what happened? They just go, oh, oh, oh. We'd like our toilet back. Yes. I would like your toilet back, too. OK. Yeah. Can you get the door? Yes. Milton fixes our bathroom soon. What is going on? Um, behind you, 11 o'clock, there's someone here he might recognize. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that Louis? That's oh, Louis. That's, that's so weird. weird. Seems like he's in no rush to get anywhere. Everything's been great. He seems happy. I thought he had a family emergency. I thought he was going to go I out of town. I can't think of any bad things recently. I'm going to do a quick picture. That's hilarious. Excuse us. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. I'm uh, I'm Carrie. I'm Fred. Are you Louie? Yep. Yeah. Yes. We're huge yeah, fans. Great Thanks, to, guys. Great to meet you. We're like comedy nerds. We're like really into comedy. Hey, uh, Cindy, can I call you back? No, you didn't have to do that. Well, now I already... We, we didn't want to interrupt yeah, anything. we just wanted to give you our condolences. We went to your show. We paid for tickets. And, and then so, there was a family emergency, well, so... You could just feel this sense of, of sympathy. Thank you so much, and I'm sorry about the show, but it was an unavoidable family emergency. It was a tough How are you doing, thing. buddy? I'm fine, thank you. Is everything OK? Yeah, everything's fine. Was it a hospital or a funeral home that you had to go to? That's all I can say at this time. If it's a family emergency, why aren't you at the location? Because I have to be here. You let us all down yesterday when you canceled your show. It's not me that let you down. Oh, so you're throwing your family under the bus a little. They let you're, us down. Well, they're the ones who didn't look after the baby. Oh, there's, there, there's a baby. And this is why it's so embarrassing. It's, uh, is it your baby? Is this baby OK? Is this baby alive? Almost. Your baby's almost alive. Yeah. Here's the thing. I think most people assumed you wouldn't be here because you canceled a show. Yeah. And here you are in Portland okay, in a coffee and shop. Most people don't know that. You guys know it. You just keep it. Well, you don't have to worry about it, right? We took a picture. Fred took a picture on his phone. Why'd you do that? That's all we can say at this time. OK. Why don't you guys have a seat? I think we all know that I did not have family emergency. I knew it. Yeah, we were starting to suspect yeah. that. OK, very good. The truth is, I was bidding on a vintage camera on eBay. 
and the auction was gonna end right during the show. So that's why I made up the family emergency thing so that... Couldn't have an assistant have done that for you? What is that feeling you know, on eBay where you get the, I got it, I got it, I got it. I wanted to like live that. That's a really big deal to me. Wow, you shouldn't be so cavalier with your audience. Say you, a family emergency. Well, but the thing about saying family emergency is that nobody asks questions because it's like, uh, you know. Did right. you get the camera? Yeah, and then the guy who's selling it is right here in Portland. So it's like perfect. It's a small town, Portland. And I'm not one of those jerks who's like, I'm gonna go online and tell everybody. I can't lose the FFE thing, the fake family members. It's a big deal in my life. I use it for a lot of things. Here's the thing, we just wanna hang out with you. If you promised to have dinner with us, we will never tell anyone about your whole fake family emergency thing. I gotta be honest with you guys, I really don't wanna hang out with you. It's gonna be kinda like a chore for me but I'm willing to do it if you don't tell people about my fake family emergency. That's great. Did, That's know. a deal. Okay. That's, That's great, good. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, everyone, hello. Uh, welcome to the grand opening of Vape My Day. <laughs> so before we have some fun sucking up these dope flavors, I just want to thank my wife, Christine, for making all this possible. And my nephew, Andy, for putting this dream team together. Right. Okay, have some fun. Oh, uh, don't forget to sign up for the plume contest. It's gonna be good. Right. Okay, so let's go home, get ready for dinner, and then um, I guess we'll just kind of blow off the vape thing, right, Abby and Christine? I don't know if we can do that. You promised we judged the plume contest. When is the next time we're gonna have the opportunity to blackmail Louis C.K. into dinner? We cannot tell them that we got a better offer. I don't know what we're gonna do. I know what we can say. Um, honey. What? Oh, Fred and Carrie can't come. They had a family emergency. Oh, that sounds serious. That sucks. They're probably identifying a body or dental records right now. Or maybe they had a car accident. Or they're at a ranch and a horse bucks somebody off. Oh my gosh. All right, we gotta take care of this. Excuse, hello? Hello, excuse me, everybody. Um, our dear friends, Fred and Terry, they were supposed to be here tonight to judge our contest, but they cannot be here due to a family emergency. I don't think I need to tell you what that means. So in their honor, I would appreciate it if we all had a plume of silence. They texted back already. Our prayers are with you. Whoa. They bought it. It totally worked. We're free. And also their prayers will go into our nice night. Like, we'll have a good dinner with Louis. It's so funny I'm calling him Louis now. What are we gonna talk to him about? I'm doing relationship stuff. You're gonna talk to him about your personal life? Karen, you wanna be vulnerable in front of comedians. You wanna be like, yeah, I find my own body ugly, right? I think that'll be a good starter. Write that down. Hi, Smitty. How you doing? Good. Listen, last time I was in here, I remember seeing a potty. Uh, is it still for sale? You mean that potty? Oh, yeah, that green one. That's it. Well, everything is for sale. For price. Hey, how about if I swap you my potty for your potty? What kind of potty? A broken potty. No deal. Oh, come on! No. Smitty. Stupid toilet. Hey, kid, you got a light? No, I don't need one. What the hell are you smoking there? Are you remote control? I'm not smoking. I'm vaping. Oh, so that's vaping. Yeah, dog. It's way better than that cancer stick you're about to light up. Is it healthier? Uh, we really have no idea. I like what I'm smelling. Oh, yeah? Follow me.
Don't you hate waiters? What? It's like, what exactly is your job, sir? They take your order and they bring you, and they bring you food. I'm the kind of guy like, I like to mess with people. So like, if a waiter comes in and goes, can I take your order? I'll go like, no, I'll take my order. You can write down my order, but you're not taking it because I would like to take it to go. So where are you guys, you guys are from Portland, both of you? Did you grow up here or? Are you from Portland? <laughs> That's great. That's I'm great. just trying to have a conversation. I'm asking you, are you from Portland? What's usually the punchline? The punchline is usually that you tell me. Uh -huh. Oh, and then you oh, do a riff good. on it. Yeah. So I'll, OK, yeah, I get no, it. You tell me where you grew up, and then we make connections as human beings. That's one All option. Right. That's great. Oh, that is shit. great. Can we just talk like, we human, just talk human, like beings? human beings? Apparently, you can't talk like human beings. Well, I'll tell you what. what? You, want to, you want to talk real? Where are the piano teachers? What? Where are the damn piano teachers? You know, is this like kid, trying to be a comedy bit? Yeah. OK, I'm go gonna, ahead. Let me hear the, the right. where did the piano well, teachers go bit. When you're a kid, you got your baseball coach. You got your football. And it's a piano teacher. You know, like a damn pain in the neck. Yeah, I got to take your piano lessons. Where are the piano teachers? Here's the thing. The point of comedy is you ask a question that people go, yeah, I'm not sure about that. You, know, you can't I, just ask a question. No, how I, long? How long is a meter compared to a yard? That's not a joke. But you can, there's a way you can perform it where it becomes funny. Let me see you make that funny. Right. Where are the damn piano teachers? Because I've had a long day, and I really would like to just power through dinner, OK? Society's like that now. We mm. power through meals. Yeah. We power through relationships. Also, where do people get powwow from? I'm being serious. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, do I say moo moo or blah blah? It's like these made up words that we somehow. Uh, OK, I got to pick up that camera I want on eBay. Can you guys give me a, give me a ride? Yeah. That yeah, would be great. Of course. Can I have the ch check, please? So soon? Yeah, let's hang out for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll take you there. No, let's go. No, let's wait for a second. I'm not done eating. The whole damn world is in a rush. Where is everyone going? And also, what happened to people looking at their watches? Y'all looking at your phones? It is just, I'm serious. Now, what flavor am I sucking on? Ripe cherry. You gotta try the pesto, that's my favorite. Pesto? Try the rye bread. Rye bread? I'm getting hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, though? Yeah. How come you got seats reserved for Fred and Carrie? They were supposed to be here, but yeah. they had a family emergency. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, that's not funny. That's serious. They don't have a family emergency. That's what you say if you want to get out of something and you don't want to explain yourself. Well, if they didn't have a family emergency and they're not at our grand opening, then where are they? If murder was legal, I might have killed a few people. <laughs> you know, guys, could you turn that off? Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> sure. Thank you. So do that joke again. What was the um, that one you, we just heard? I mean, I, it's not something I can just turn on and do, you know? It's like, what if I asked you, like, sing, uh, you know, sing the national anthem right now? OK. Oh, oh say can you see? I hear the whole the thing? Dawn. They're not having a family emergency? No, no. I know for a fact I'm their landlord. They said nothing about coming to the opening of a vape shop. You think they blew us off? I'm sorry. But they love massive plumes. Do they? Here's a question. What? Anyone playing tic-tac-toe anymore? <laughs> I'm serious. Hey, I need you to I need you to make a left here, okay? Hang a Louie. That's not funny. This is where you're meeting the camera guy? Yeah, I guess he works in his vape store. He's coming out in a minute. Yeah. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Louis C.K.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bought my camera? I did, yep. That's what I paid for. Oh. Thank, thank you. you. All right, let's go. Let's roll out. All right, thank okay. you. Whoa! <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh how are you? Hi. What's your camera? Fred and Carrie. Oh, hi. Oh, amazing so, you're here. It is amazing. How is your family? Thank you for asking. They're, they're doing better. Quite an emergency, I see. Yeah. But how about that yeah. camera? Woo. No, no, no. Come on, no. These two were supposed to judge our plume contest tonight, but instead they told us they had a family emergency. Yeah. So they lied to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were actually with you, I guess. That's terrible. That's yes. Ter you guys, that's really gross. 
I had no idea you were such awful people. What kind of person would do a thing like that? I don't know. Louie, you want to come in and do a set? We got a bunch of guys with nothing to do. No, sure. No, no, no. We have a crappy <laughs> yeah. PA. You don't want to. Nah, do I don't that. care. That's fine. I'll do, I'll do a set anywhere. Uh, really? I'll tell up. jokes no, to anybody. Please. This is Thank so exciting. So oh, I love it. Oh, jeez. Uh, um, we're full up in here, you guys. Sorry. There's room right in there. No, we can no, go no, in. No, no, no. We're at capacity. It's just us, though. That's so th all we can say at this time. Ah. Okay. Great. Right, well. Thanks. I guess we can watch through the window. Oh, yeah. Hey, Fred. Hey, Carrie. Hi, Milton. <laughs> hey, look, I got your toilet. <gasps> you can put it in tonight. No, it's going to take me a few more days at least. But I have some new bathroom codes for, you know, the local 7-Elevens, gas stations, laundromats. This is a downgrade. Some of those aren't even clean. I'm sorry. Hey, I got to get back inside. Louis C.K. is about to perform. <laughs> and also, I was at a restaurant. I was thinking, don't you hate waiters? Recent census reports indicate Portland is the most feminist-friendly city in the country. I'm freaking out. I'm so excited. This is great. I'm excited about living in a feminist city because the property values are going to increase. I just bought a house last year. That's good for me. The entertainment industry put L.A. on the map. With Silicon Valley, it was tech. Will Portland solidify its place as a center of the feminism industry? With local enthusiasm strong and the ranking garnering national attention, there's no doubt people will flock here to see what this feminist fuss is all about. And that's good news for local businesses. What? I, I would like to buy one of these vagina pillows, one for each of my buddies back at the office. Do you even know what a cervix is? I do. I, I just had one tattooed on my backside. Pussy power. That's disgusting. And that's going to be, you know, at least $500. So if you don't have it, please oh, put yeah. it back. That's, that's the price of sisterhood. Please take it. Fine. Thank you. Get out. Get out. This is disgusting. It's not working. We're supposed to be a non-for-profit, and we're being suffocated by money and cash. Hi, is this all together or separate? Do you speak English? Oh, I get it. You want to take feminism back to your homeland? You have feminism fever? Listen, you do not want feminism back there. Look what it's done to us. It's ruined us. Um, it's $3,000, 3000 So if you don't have it, please put it back. Oh, they're, and they're getting the cash for it. We don't want your money. Feminism is not for everyone. It's for me and her. This green money, this is just a big green penis. But it's not going to impregnate me with its ideas. My legs are crossed. We don't want your money. You want to see what we're going to do with it? You want to see cash? Yeah, we're going to destroy it. Is that what you like? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking pictures. Lose control. What are you looking at? Oh. Oh. This is something to rip. Rip it! Rip it! Oh. Get an insert of it. Get an insert yeah. right here. Stop taking pictures. I've been yelling at them. Yeah. This money doesn't help us at all. Stop it, Candace, please. Want to see the gas can? You know what? Did you get a picture of that? And, uh, nobody there you get the tattoo shop. If anyone wants to get off and get a girl power tattoo, we can pull over. We'd be glad to, we'd be happy to. Uh, you see that place right there? That, right, that has a woman's bathroom right there. It's a lot of women's bathrooms in Portland. More than any other state in the union, I believe. It's a little known fact. And that place has a, a woman pharmacist. And a pharmacy is a great place to, to buy socks. A lot of people don't know that. Ah, look at this. Oh, kid, I have just the thing. Just the thing. There you go. There you go, man. Get that under his head there. You know, kid, a lot of people think that the woman symbol is based on the astrological sign for Venus. I don't believe it. I don't. I, I think it's based on 2001 a Space Odyssey, the circular shape of the spacecraft in the uh, feminist classic 2001. You know what else? I was obsessed with Erin Brockovich. Ask anybody that I knew growing up, they'll tell you that's all I talked about. 
It's Aaron Brockovich. Don't get me started on Aaron. Aaron Brockovich. So nice of you. Always keep wearing your army jacket. That's good. That's very, very important for feminism. Uh, no, I am not an object. Please get away from me. Candace, why are you letting them do this to you? Tony, just enjoy the moment. What's wrong with you? Are you wearing makeup? Oh, am I? I think, I think I might be, yeah. Uh, the buttons finally came in, Candace. Oh, these look fantastic. I'm sorry, what did you order? These are pins. We're gonna have little buttons here. We could sell them for like $5, and one's you, one's me. We're not me. selling things in a not-for-profit bookstore. Oh, she's right about that. Maybe we could put these out and say that they're free with every $50 purchase. Yeah. Wait, why are you consulting with this person? Who who are you? Oh, I'm, I'm Danny. I'm, I'm Candace's assistant. You have an assistant now? Yes, of course. I mean, I'm so busy here. It just helps me with groceries and picking out my clothes, car stuff a little yeah. bit, and then travel. Where, where are you off to? Well, for press, you know, say Atlanta or Denver or something. I mean, do you want an assistant? Uh, no, I don't. I can pick out my own clothes. I can buy my own groceries. You can pick out your own clothes? Yes, I can. A zebra necklace? Yes. How does a zebra necklace work with that vest? It's a little last season. Did you know that Portland actually has the highest percentage of women's bathrooms, female dogs, and restaurants that serve light beer? Portland also can boast that 80% of its cat calls are followed by a sincere apology. Okay, last stop on the tour, a real-life feminist bookstore. Shop away, shop all you want. Get in there, shop yourselves silly. Hi, everyone, welcome to Women and Women First. Come on in. Hey, ladies, nice to see you again. Oh, I nice hope you don't you. mind that I keep bringing my customers here. They love it. I don't know if you've noticed, but we are a not-for-profit bookstore, and you are bringing profit into the store. Don't you see how that's contradictory? You know, I used to work 15 minutes to an hour a day, and now I'm here until 4, sometimes 4.30. You know, I find it hard to believe that you don't want to make money. Believe it or not, I don't. Candace, on the other hand, she is a sellout. You keep saying that word, sellout. What does that mean? What do you think it means, Candace? It means that sometimes we sell out of some of our products. No, it happens in you business. You know this is a philosophical discussion. Look, I'll just, I won't bring these folks around here anymore, and, but that's your loss, you know? There's a, there's a demand. Well, Someone's got to fill it. Well, I don't want to fill it, okay? I don't want to just be some feminist band-aid for the woes of the world. People can find their solace and their products somewhere else. All right, I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help. Okay, well, you know how you could help? You could take all these people, and you could get them out of here, and you could start your own feminist bookstore. Me? Oh, oh. Uh, nah. Hmm. Come on down to Femi Mart, Portland's first feminist superstore. Here at Femi Mart, we know that you want top quality female products without sacrificing female value. We've womanized everything from blenders to blankets to baseball bats. Everything in the store is made for women. Leaf blowers, electronics, gear and supplies for the outdoors woman. And a year-round Halloween section, just for fun. Experience authentic feminism without the high prices. Oh. That's nice. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. You're, you're happy with that? It was good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm really excited about this. Good. I think yeah, that it's going to be great for Femi Martin. Yeah. I'm kind of a creative type, so mm -hmm. I've got some ideas oh. as well. I could do like an auctioneer thing, you know, like 25, 25, 25, 25, I mean, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Well, we actually had some ideas too. Do you want to hear? Kevin had some? talked to us a little bit for the next spot. He was thinking maybe something more fun, front, sure, lightening mm -hmm. it a little bit. You know, you know, like you have such a great voice. Yes. Thank you very much. It's a very strong voice. Candace, the voice of feminism. Yeah. I mean, we could do that. Yes, we can do that. Like Let's that? do that. Yeah. That yes. would be amazing. So, like, you're the voice, and then we could have them be like the face. Yeah. The hi. Faces. Could you come over here for a second? Would you mind just standing next yeah, to just, Candace? Just stand Candace, over. could you scoot over just a little bit? Just a little just, bit. Just a tiny bit. You're great. And then perfect, if you could. Perfect. Just Can you just hold up. those up? Yeah, let's see what you guys look like with that. Nice. No, no, Candace, you're, you already you're... got one. Just one second. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're great. Uh, I like that. I like the I red. I like it. really nice. Does it? It sort of pops, yeah. you know, with her eyes. Know. And they could be in the background, and I'm yeah. just, I'm talking up front, and I'm sure. so, I or am even the new. reverse that. Yeah, or like you're off the... the side. Maybe you could pass the gas can, just like it was the torch of, of feminism. It's very symbolic, Maybe. and then they could carry that torch. Where does torch? that put me? Where, where well, do I go? Um, you are the person who had the torch. And, and now you're off camera. Yeah. I'd rather be like in the shot, not to... We yeah. can start there. We yeah. can, we'll we can start, start with it. Right. Yeah, and then cut it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think you'll really like it. You'll like it. Mm -hmm. I'll take your word for it, I guess. This is what feminism used to look like. But now we're passing the torch.
it's time for a new face of Femimart. Candace Severo's phone, this is Danny speaking. No, uh, where, where's Candace? She's not exactly available right now. I don't give a shit. Where is she? She's doing press today. Danny, you little troll, I will shrink you down and put you on my keychain. Get Candace for me. Can you please call back at a later time, ma'am? Ma'am? Danny, I'm coming to find you, and I'm coming to find Candace. You better warn her, I'm on my way. Bye. Today, I am pleased to welcome Candace Devereaux, co-owner of Women and Women First Bookstore and Celebrity Feminist. Welcome, Candace. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell me, how has your life changed since you've become a celebrity feminist? Oh, celebrity? I mean, oh, wow. Um, I try to stay grounded and, and really just focus on myself and being the same person. I hear you're considering putting out your own line of pattern vests. This is happening, yes. I'm thinking of maybe the name uh, Invested or a Vestibule or something Candace. like that. Candace. I think both are fan. Coffee. Candace. Tony, uh, can we get this woman off of the set, please? Oh, this woman? Look at yourself in the monitor. Can you get a camera on her? Look at yourself. You see what you look like? You look like a fool. Do you hear yourself? You sound we will like resume a fool. this lively discussion right after this commercial break. Oh, no, we're not going to commercial break. Do not cut. This is us, Candace. They're what making fun of us. They're using us for profit. I, I am Tony Rose. I am a card-carrying feminist. I have not one but two Audre Lorde tattoos. And I know there are other feminists out there who are sick and tired of seeing feminism in this city being commodified, being reduced to some phrase. You want to try feminism on? There's nothing to try on because it's in our blood. It's our skin and bones. We're here. We're not going away. You want a feminist phrase? Come on, everyone. Let's get back together and let's say we are not for sale! Tony, that was incredible. I'm sorry. Did everyone see that? Um, no one saw that. We've been off the air for the last minute. What? We have got to go down to that superstore and break it down brick by brick. Brick by brick. Danny, come here. How's my schedule looking? I mean, you're full all the way through September, Candace. I don't... <sighs> can we move that lunch at least? You can't cancel an angel again. It's getting kind of awkward. Well, there's got to be a way around it. Why is it not on my calendar? I don't know why it's not sinking. When is Sedona? What month are you on? No, no, no that's January. Okay. Move down, 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 down. Candace, you don't make time for feminism. The time is now. Let's go. Let's organize the troops. You're right. Uh, right now. Danny, forget it. We're out. Let's go. Welcome, everyone. I hope you've eaten. But you're sober and well-rested. What we're about to propose to you is not lucrative. It's also not dangerous. But it is very, very important work. We don't need scaredy cats. Cats who are scared. If I see any fear, I want you to leave right now, this second. Go on, Tony. As we all know, Femimart is the largest feminist superstore, not only in Portland, but in the entire United States. Boo. It's destroying us. Are we gonna rob it? Oh no. We're gonna take it down. We have a four-step process. We integrate. Get in there. Be part of their system. You must somehow get hired at Femi Mart. Well, I always interview really well. Well, that's one of you. But the rest of you, pair up. Work on your resumes. Get your references in order. Sit down and do the best interview you've ever done. You're hired. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Oh, that's wonderful. We destabilize. The point is to confuse, confound, redirect, destruct, undermine. A couple of hours from now, we're going to have a staff meeting. Why don't you join us? We love would to. love to. Spin them around and make them dizzy. We dismantle, we destroy. And as we all know, the only thing that can destroy feminism is feminism itself. Let's do this. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming to the meeting. Uh, the first order of business, uh, I'd like to turn over to some, some women who've come to help us out, sort of as advisors. Candace and Tony, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll keep this really short. It might be a good idea to try to come up with maybe a new logo design. Maybe there should be a logo that addresses some more issues and is more inclusive. And I think it's important that we reach full consensus on this. You know, this logo has to represent 
what feminism is, and it has to represent it for all women. Does everyone think that this logo should be a woman? I think it's a great idea. Maybe we should define what a woman is. Ooh. Well, listen, Angel, you don't want the logo to look like a woman. You. you... Well, what does a woman look like, Leanne? Well, this is good. This I think, think everyone can see my point. What if we made it a little fun? Like maybe the logo could be holding a cat or a piece of pizza. Love that idea. You are brave, very courageous, and that's a very creative, good idea. Okay, so Kevin, you should write that down. A logo that holds something else is always a good idea. Make that logo somewhat confusing. Well, maybe we could put the pizza on the logo's crotch. Is it a piece of pizza or a whole pizza? Because well, no. a, a round pizza is like an open vagina. We should, it should. You know what it is, but other people are going to think that that's just pubic hair. But what we're also not discussing, what if the logo is a vegan? Well, here's the thing about veganism. I mean, how does the unborn child get nourished, you know, on cashews and soy alone? So the logo is pregnant? Well, how old is this woman, sorry, person on the logo? Old enough to know that dressing up like a slut does not make you a feminist. Oh, now, wait a minute. What, are we playing the blame yes, game now? Yes, we are. Let's play Our the blame game. Can't Let's play dress it. the way she wants without being shamed by other women. She can't be sexual. I have a question. Oh, yes. Danny, this better be good. Do not stumble on your words, Danny. Go ahead, Gloria Steinem. If she can't speak, does that make her not a feminist? Wait, so you're saying the logo? No, I, I, I want yeah. this to echo in his head. I want this to echo in his head what he just said. The, the dumbness of that question, it resonates. Can it speak? Do you want to put a speaker up in the logo? Is that what gonna do? You, do you want to record the voice that's going to be up in the logo? We should do that. We'll put a little stereo system up there. So is the logo supposed to have a, a, a moving mouth? Ooh. That's like a blow-up doll. You want a logo servicing a man? You can be a feminist and want to service a man. You can be a feminist and like sucking a little D. Yeah, sucking D is pretty much universal. So now she's heterosexual. So do we have consensus on the logo? No. no. Well, maybe we should come back to this. What we need to do is rearrange the store. Why don't we move on to that? Oh, that's a great idea. No yes. shelves. I was no, looking I, for the chain no store. Shelves. Are we going to have lunchboxes in the have store? Like You're women. What that means is we mean it. You're women. Attention Femimart customers. If you are looking for audio or video tapes, they have been moved to aisles three or 26. I need to talk to you guys. Is it me or are there way less customers in this place? Where did everybody go? That's a good thing. You don't want too many customers in here. I wanted you guys to come in here to, to, to bring new new ideas, no, to, make, to make the place more authentic, you, to make it more Did you call us guys? Real. Yeah, no. <sighs> At Femi Listen, Mart? help me. We're losing about $20,000 a day. That's great. Also, there's a way to save money. Turn the lights out, light candles. Excuse me, I'm trying to find this jacket in a medium. This is not an open shop where you can just get whatever you want, whenever you want. You want something, look for it and look hard. You know, I think you can find those in the... Uh, no, no it's... she can't. What is that? It's a pullover jacket for my daughter. Your daughter, so you own your daughter. She's not her own person. It's well, not the daughter, it's your daughter all of a sudden. You know, two weeks ago, I knew where all this stuff was. Everything's been rearranged. We've hidden them pretty well. If you need to find one, I think we have mediums in the hardware section. Why are they there? Why are they in there? Well, Kevin, since you're asking, because someone of that proportion and size might be interested in drills and hardware. And buy your daughter a drill while you're over there. <laughs> so she can build her way out of your home. I'm never shopping here again. Please, please. Kevin, this is good. What That's a, not the kind of customer you want asking a million questions. What a victory for us. I've had it. This is just, I'm done. I can reuse that, thank you. I can't believe it. That's, that's perfect. That's good, they scattered exactly right. Yeah. Things about to change here, right on time. I got a running new road and on the good side. So on the right you got the Devil's Playground. Devil's Playground built in 1987. It's a brick building with a vertical wood plank overlay, providing a nice homey texture. There you can see the requisite neon sign. Are we actually going to go into any of these clubs? Strictly an architectural tour. Uh, folks, and uh, if you allow me, I can describe to you what you might find in there. First off, you get your stripper's pole, which is going to be made of a polished 
brass or silver unless someone's been cut corners day, in which case you're gonna get a uh, galvanized steel pipe. Have you ever met any of the girls who work in these clubs? I have not. We've got a real beauty coming up. Uh, the devil wears nada. You hear that, Tony? I do, Candace. The sound of zero customers. See, we should design these longer so that I could do this from here. Do you know what I mean? Because this, my finger grease is getting all on the edge there. This is what I'm talking about, real problems. Yes, it's a real problem. Yes. I'm gonna call them. Do you know how long this tea's been sitting in this little canister there? No. One month. Ow. You're getting rid of that bike, Lance. Don't be ridiculous. It's between me and the bike. I don't have to go like to a morgue and have to identify your body. Okay, I'll get rid of the bike. And how did you hit a pothole anyway? I didn't even see it. You didn't see a pothole? Oh. That's the first time that's happened. I know. But it was the blue meth. This is Walking bullshit! Towards. My vision is perfect. It's 2020. It always has been. Lance, just. Let him do it. I think people get uncomfortable when they get into the chair, and this is a dentist chair. I think that's also part of it. But we're gonna do a very simple test now, and it's much like a test you'd take in school. Uh, it, it helps me determine what your eyesight uh, is. What I'd like you to do is cover one eye and tell me what letter you see at the top. E, it's easy. That's great, that's good, Lance. Mm -hmm. That one is easy, let's go to the second line. An F. And then? P. Oh. Great. Oh, you got that one correct. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. You want to get out of here? Well, wait. Let's go to a little bit of a harder one. What I like to do is I like to take people down to just around the sixth line there, the little smaller. E. D. Um. Hangman. It's a letter. That was your clue. Uh, a nose ring. Well, none of those were right. So what I'm going to suggest is that we put you in a pair of glasses. Uh-oh. Wait. I'd like you to see Sharon. We're going to put you in a pair of no, frames. I'm not. And I think it's going to get you excited about the process. I'm not excited about the process. Nina, if you... I, hey! I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Nina, I'm not, if you wear glasses, not, you wear I'm glasses. Not doing this. Thanks for being patient with him. I'm sorry. No, it just, just gets Listen, that way. I love my work. And I had an amazing summer. I have nothing to complain about. Mm -hmm. My children are healthy, thank God. Mm -hmm. uh, and and do I come across patients sometimes that challenge me? Sure. But that's what makes it all worth it, is it? Yeah, there's all kinds of patients. No. Nope. No, you look like a keyboard player or something. <gasps> oh, I just look like a big dork. No, that's really good. You look like a handsome dork. I don't want to be a dork at all, though. No, no, you're wrong. Those glasses look fantastic. Thanks for your opinion, sir, but uh, clearly look like a nerd. <sighs> Hardly. No, those those suit you quite well. See? Yeah. If you don't have a problem with resembling a young Marcello Mastriani, honestly. Oh, come on. Who's that? He's an actor, he's in a lot of uh, Fellini movies. Eight and a half. The Dolce Vita. Honestly, you should get those. Yeah, I don't know, it's a little disjointed with my, uh, you know, biker thing. Listen, I get it, okay? I was a biker too. <laughs> you? Oh. Yeah. You can still be a biker on the inside and cut up people for a living. What's your name? Oh, I apologize. Jarvis. Oh, OK. Oh, hey, I'm Lance. These glasses are essential. They're a jumping off point to the next stage in your life. I can show you. Can I borrow him for six hours? All right, I mean, guys will be guys, so. All right, I'll see you later. I think Davidson is overlooked. <laughs> that scene where the stroller is falling, De Palma did the same thing in Untouchables. Oh yeah, you're right.
Nina Jervis and I just went to the Portland Art Museum. We saw this image in Cunningham photography exhibit, and he said it was better than the Eccleston exhibit he'd seen in New York. Ew. Well, and guess what? He invited us to a dinner party at his house this weekend. I'm like, do we bring food or is he gonna have food? Uh, he said not to bring anything. It's all free? Yeah. Ooh, free dinner. It's delicious, darling. Thank you. And what's the marinade that you used this time? It was grapeseed oil. Mm. I, I was trying something different today. Mm, I can taste that. Mm-hmm. Lance, you enjoying the quinoa? Yeah, I really like it with the, uh, the zucchini. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. I thought you didn't like zucchini. I, I do like zucchini. You do? One time we were over at the, at the pier and he took off the zucchini off of the sandwich. And then he tried to throw it at these pigeons and this, they couldn't lift it because it was too big. So they were like fighting over it. And they were like, all their wings were like waving around. Oh no. Oh, it was pickles. Right? You yeah. threw the, so yeah, we had pickles. That was when we went to the amusement park. I barfed. Hmm. Anybody join the wait list to, uh, to get the new Tesla battery. Mm. I saw that, I was, uh, I was thinking about it. I know, I'm excited. The batteries I like are the, um, the little square ones, the rectangle ones. Nine volts. Nine volts. Yeah, if you put them all on top of shelf, you can, you think it look, it could look like a little wall of teeth. In high school, me and my friends, Sissy and Marie, used to have battery fights where we throw batteries at each other. And then I thought I had a black eye and I looked in the mirror and it was like, it was like blue. And you know what it was? It was magic marker. One of them threw a magic marker at me. And it drew on your eye? I think what happened is when it hit my face, the, the cap just fell off. It was in the Are you uh, done with your story? Oh, yeah. All right. I had wine. You know what I'd love to do? I would love to toast our, our lovely host this evening. Please, allow me. Thank you. To new friends and to old, let us move forward. Let us be bold, for the future belongs to those of us who break the mold. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I didn't get you. <laughs> I didn't get you. I'm sorry. Um, you didn't make eye contact, Nina. What? It's bad luck if you don't look the person in the eye. So say the French. I don't want to have bad luck. OK. No. Wait, what's the? There's a black cat. Then there's going underneath the... Wait, what did you tell me? It's a black cat going under a ladder. And what's the other one? Lance? 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 That was so fun. That house is so big. I feel like I didn't even see all the rooms yet. There's probably all these other rooms upstairs. Maybe when we go back, they can give us a tour of the whole place. It was so nice. Did you hear so? What do you mean? We've never been in these people's house, and all you did was tell these asinine stories that had no beginnings and no ends. They were just the middle the entire time, and it's so embarrassing. I don't even know what you were talking about. Pigeons and pickles. I mean... You don't understand the story? You remember we were by the pier, and we were trying to eat those sandwiches, and then there was... Well, I, I guess I... Please stop talking. You know, sometimes if you just shut up for one second, you would actually understand more about the world. You talk so much that things don't even get into your head. I just really want to be friends with these people. And, and I just want you to not ruin it for me. Please, don't ruin this for me. OK. I, I mean, you, you get this, right? Yeah, I get it. I mean, you made your point. I won't embarrass you anymore. You got it. Do you um, want to play? What is it? Like? Uh, this is chess, one of the greatest board games of, of, of our time. It's a game of strategy and guide, and basically the goal is to take down the other person's king. So that's the king? Yes. You're trying to protect him. And what's that? That is the queen. And what's that? That is a bishop. And what are all those? These? Yeah. Trees, leaves, branches made of wood. What's the temperature of the sun? Uh, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. And like, what's all this? This? Yeah. Um, brass? So you're pretty smart, huh? Yes, I am. I'm what? on my sixth grade chess team, the debate team. I skipped a grade. Mm hmm Do you think I'm dumb? Do you know this was grass? 
I, I did, but I just wanted to get a sense of it. Okay, okay. Smart, you know. Well, then, you, no, you're not them. I don't think so, at least. Well, what would you think about maybe being my tutor? Um, I haven't really tutored anyone before. I've always wanted to, but, um, who, who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Nina. Okay. Nice to meet you. Matthew. Matthew. Now, where do you want to start? If you really want to impress someone, improper fractions is what to do. So this is Wolfgang Mozart. Oh. Scientists don't know how, but the dinosaurs died. From a meteor, a flood, nobody knows. So they're all dead. But then that started the Revolutionary War. Is that the war where they said the British are coming? Yes. And were the British coming? Yes. Where were they going? To take back America and kill. Did they? Yes, lives were lost. Hello, I am Benjamin Franklin. Back then, there was really no electricity. Then one, oh, oh. It's dinner time. Uh, I guess I should go. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Would you um like to stay for dinner? And I figure once I do that, I can get my GED, and then Lance will be impressed with how much I know. And with Matthew's help, I think it'll work. Anyone who's trying to better themselves is okay by me. Well, thank you. Yeah, and you will get your GED. I know you will. Mm, fingers crossed. You know what you should do? Throw a dinner party of your own. A dinner party? Yeah. You can show up all your smarts. So I can go, like, bring things out and just be like, oh, hi, do you remember what Truman said? And Lance is going to be so impressed. I can't thank you enough. And you've got to give me these recipes, and I can't even believe, like, all these things that you made. Well, you ate a lot of it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I burped a lot, too. <laughs> I'm known as the queen of the burps. Mm. Lance, guess what? Uh, Tonight, we're having a dinner party. No, we're not. I invited all your friends. Jarvis is coming. Jenna's coming. Already embarrassing me a little bit. Cocktails are at 7.30, and dinner starts probably at 8 o'clock. Don't be late. OK. Hearts of heart. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to give you something before I went. Matthew, that's so nice. You didn't have to do that. You've been working so hard, I thought you deserved something. Oh, what is this? It's a dictionary. Basically, every single word in the English language. It's got every single word. Like uh, cabinet or... Carmine, red or purplish red. Matthew, this is so thoughtful of you. You're the nicest ever. Yeah, I thought this could help you with the dinner party. You probably know some big words. Now you can show them some big words, too. Good luck with dinner party, by the way. All right. Okay, everyone. That concludes our cocktail hour. Please join me in the dining room for dinner. You know. Bring your drinks. Magnificent. We are in the provenance of a delightful meal. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Well, I've been reading a whole lot. I've got a lot of books on my nightstand. That's great, Nina. Terrific. What have you been reading? Where the Red Fern Grows. Hmm. Cried throughout that whole thing. I was really crying. I'm in the middle of um, A Wrinkle in Time. A Wrinkle in Time. I think I read it in, in sixth grade. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, uh, Madeline Langle, right? That's right. She's a real peacenik. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize how substantial her humor is. Hmm. Oh. Her, her what? Or oof. Right. Hey, I'm gonna get some pepper for the Caesar salad. Oh, oh like right. Such a substantial body of work. Oh, Madeline Langle. Yeah. You know, Nina, this salad is wonderful, so verdant. Mm. What, what what is it? It's delicious and verdant. Oh, verdant, yeah. Um, anyone want wine? <laughs> Okay, Nina? Yes. Yes, I agree, because that's green, and this is green, and this is green, and this is green, which would be verdant. While you were out, I was talking about millennials, and I don't hate them. I just wonder if every generation seems to be more solipsistic than the next mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Yeah, they're solipsistic is like they're, you know, they're with their sisters. You're saying that people who are solipsistic are with their sisters? Yeah, at least assist if they're solemn, you know, if, they're, 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 if they solemnly swear to uphold the laws of the land. Do you not know the meaning of the word? Sol, 
It's like salt. No. Millennials are solipsistic. I know what millennials aren't. Well, I'm not saying that they're salty. It's all right if you don't know what the meaning of the word is. I understand it's a it's a rather abstruse term. Oh, come on. Every word is just more difficult than the next one. I mean, why does dinner have to be a crossword puzzle that I'll never get? Nina, I apologize. It no, I apologize. I didn't finish high school. I didn't go to college. I'm sorry I'm not like you. And I'm sorry, Lance. I'm trying my best not to embarrass you. You know how far I got in that book that I was telling you about? Page two. And that was hard for me. I've been studying and cramming and like, I'm trying to remember fractions and like the, the capitals of every state. And it's just impossible. Dessert's in the kitchen if you want that. Okay, there's a word I know, dessert. Two syllables. Bye, Lance. Enjoy the rest of your dinner. Good time. Laugh at me. I apologize. No, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what, what she's talking about these numbers and state capitals? Is she, like, studying? Is it possible she's having an affair? <laughs> Matthew! God! Even though it was kind of a mess, I mean, you would think that, like, Lance would appreciate it and just say, like, oh, Nina, you really tried your best. Or, like, wow, you're making an effort. Um, do you, like, Dancing? Yeah, I like dancing a lot. Um, what kind of dancing? You know, this, <laughs> this kind of thing. And I like this, um, sometimes that kind of dance move. Kind of like sock hop? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the kind that would be at a sock hop, yeah. That's ironic because my middle school ball is a sock hop theme, so that's kind of cool. And I don't really want to go, but everyone's going. I don't want to be left alone, so maybe you can just come with me and we can talk, hang out. Are you trying to ask me to your dance? Y yes. Maybe, oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Matthew, if you can ask a girl to a dance, you gotta do it the right way. Nina, will you go to my sixth grade ball with me? Matthew, I would love to go. See? <laughs> oh, good. Hey, Nina, can we talk? Uh, okay. Uh, what is going on? You just seem, you've been weird. The dinner party was weird. Uh, seemed fine to me. I really liked it. It was really delicious, wasn't it? Y yeah, but you stormed out of the party. Oh, I did? Okay, I'm sorry. That won't happen again. Are you putting lipstick on? Where are you going? Um, just look at some of the buildings and stuff. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I'll be back in a couple hours, so we could talk then. Okay, Lance? Bye. Bye. Want to dance? Uh, yeah, or uh, maybe we could stay here. Oh, Matthew, thanks for inviting me to this. Say no problem. Do you want to get me some punch? Sure. Nina! What are you doing here? I'm just hanging out with Matthew. Who's Matthew? He's my friend. I mean, you're hanging out with Jarvis all the time, so I have a friend too. Oh, thanks for that punch. Lance, I'd like to introduce you to Matthew. Matthew, this is Lance. Matthew? I'm Lance. Matthew. Script. What is he, 11? I'm 12, actually. Oh, he's pretty smart. He knows a lot. I skipped a grade. I'm on my sixth grade chess team and the debate team. Come on, Nina. I get the point, OK? Let's get out of here. I think I'm happy here. Tonight, Nina is my date. So you better go home before things get ugly. What if I don't want to go home? I'm going to curl up these five fingers and give you an uncle Sam. Kidney. They're fighting over me! They're fighting over me! Uncle? Uncle? This isn't over. What's everybody looking at? Just dance. How long I'm a married woman. I, 
Sorry, I've been a jerk. You know, I kind of got mixed up with the bad crowd. I mean, I like those people, but I love you. You're smart, and you're beautiful. Most importantly, you're kind. And you don't have to go take a GED test for me. Well, I kind of did it for me. What do you say we get out of here? Yeah, that sounds good. You hungry? I'm starving. I'm starving. Chow you down. I want to tear you open like a bag of chips. Make you into a blender and put you in a smoothie. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, smarty pants. Who's the 16th president of the United States? There were 16 presidents? into the noodles? No. Don't mess with this noodle. Only we'll dip. Ooh, chopsticks. I know how to use these. Me too. <laughs> we have one order of skemen. Oh, skemen. These are our cold Japanese dipping noodles. Very More cool. garnishes will be coming out. I don't think this is what we ordered. We don't work here. Are, are, you, are, are you asking us to, to make it? Yeah, we're not chefs. Okay. I think what we ordered is called sukima. It's pronounced skemen. Skemen? Enjoy. No, but it, do you want to send this back to the kitchen so you guys can make it and then bring it back? Yeah. Why do I have a blank soup? Well, okay. I don't even have a soup. Why are there na naked noodles? I'm going to start with a salad. I, but I think there's a, a proper way to do it that... It's all edible. Nance, this is like Asian food. This is, you've got to do it like they do it in, 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 in actual countries. Oh, hun, I'm hungry. No, no, that's the dressing. I, I think that's a soup. It's not a soup. Uh, let, let's do this the right way. What, what, what... Mm. Peter, now my favorite dress has a stain on it. What's that? Th th this is not a soup. Help, help, p p please, can, can someone help? So we don't know how to do any of this. There's a proper way to do it. You simply take your noodles and dip them into your broth. What are you doing, tying a knot? Yeah, I'm making a dumpling. It's really important that you don't let your noodles soak in the broth. And, and the eggs are for breakfast for tomorrow? For a little bit more richness, gives it more mouthfeel. It's kind of like a tea ceremony for food. These flavors have been around for centuries, so we're honoring them today. And, and what century, what, 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 what does the flavor come from? Peter, while you're talking, I'm about to eat food. I'm just gonna put all this in here. No! Only dip. You've been warned. Wow, hot-headed. Can we get this to go, please? Oh, Peter, there's so many containers. I'm not going to be able to fit it all in here, hon. Sure, just move that bottle right over there. Actually, why don't you throw this milk out? I'm not going to throw it out. I'm going to waste it. Just drink it. Oh, it's like cottage cheese. Look, I just combined everything so it should fit. No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't think it's the. the yep. I don't think it's the right thing to do. I think All good. keep them separate. Nance, I, I, I don't. I don't... Dream, I guess. No. Good morning. 
As you know, the Nokia Corporation is going to be visiting today, and they're looking to potentially open a plant here, which would mean thousands of new local jobs. We really want everything to be especially polished today, spick and span. The mayor wants this to go really, really well. OPB Radio, I'm Gregory Gonzalez Gomez. And I'm Brianna Maxwell Jones, and we are right in the middle of our spring pledge drive. Uh, we've got a goal of $50,000. Think of it as an investment in your own entertainment and education. The other day, we, ha we had a driveway moment. There was a wonderful story on teenagers in Papua New Guinea who, who sell sand. Here in public radio, a driveway moment is something that defines who we are. You're in your car listening to a show, and you're almost at your house, you pull up, and you don't want to spend that time going from your car to your house and missing the very important part of the story. So you stay in your car until the story's over. And what we're asking for today is for you to donate to keep this community of public radio listeners going. Through your pledges, we brought in the new Beck album when we played it for Oh, damn it. What? Oh, I left my phone at home. Let's go back. I can't believe I did that. It's right on the counter. Just, it was, I looked at it and I just kept walking. Damn it. Ugh. I'll just leave it. Okay. <sighs> I bet you someone's texting me right now. Like right now, they're like, hey, how are you doing? Honestly, it's often one of those things where you get back and you think there's been an emergency and there's literally nothing. The texts that I want to return are not the important ones, but the ones where someone's like, hey, what's up? And it just seems like I'm mad at them. And I don't want anyone to think that. <sighs> oh, I miss the heat of it in my pocket. Asia File. Konnichiwa. Today on Asia File, we're going to talk about the various ways you can bow. And in dealing with uh, business colleagues, you should know the difference between the formal and informal vows and know when to use the very, very formal. Let's bow, shall we? Here's me doing the formal bow. Look at my back. Here's me doing the informal. No key is here, sir. I need you up. Where are the Nokia people? Apparently, that's them. I thought it was a Japanese company. Actually, Mr. Mayor, we are a Finnish company. Tracy Bing, Nokia. N Nokia. Jim and I here are heads of Nokia North America. Hi, Jim Riggins. Wow, you are not exactly what I was expecting at all. So it's not a Japanese company? No, sir, it's a Finnish company. Finnish. Finnish. Finland. So wouldn't it be like N Nokia? Okay. Nokia. Well, I prepared an elaborate Japanese welcoming bow ceremony. <laughs> Really, really, really did a lot of work on it, but go ahead, do it anyway. Tracy, Jim, welcome. I'm so excited to show you the bright, eager, young workforce that we have here. I have no doubt you will choose Portland as your home. Yeah, curious. Who else are you considering? Seattle. No contest. Bunch of dum-dums up there. <laughs> Nance! The fridge is wide open. What? Want anything for lunch? Oh, I could go for some of those leftovers, hon. The noodles are gone. No, I mean, they're on the shelf. You know, they're not. They're, 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 they're not here. Well, Peter, they didn't just get up and walk away. I, 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 think, I think they did. There's little noodle footprints that go out the... the the, the front of the fridge, and they, and they make a left and go down the hall, and there's broth everywhere. You did, you did, you did. Hey, Jim. my shirt. It's gonna be there all day. Oh well. Oh god, I have to get this shirt dry cleaned. What you're gonna see here is a potential workforce the likes of which doesn't exist anywhere else, only in Portland. You see all the busy little bees working away on projects, all personal projects. Why shouldn't they be working for you? Hmm? 
Let's talk to one of them, shall we? Excuse me. Hi. I, oh, hi. I'm the mayor. Nice to meet I you. I see you working hard there on it. Uh, you've got a little spill. Oh, man. We couldn't have a spill like that around the office. <laughs> um, well, you keep working. Oh, okay. There we go. Thank you. <clears throat> Sir, hi, I'm the mayor. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, stain. <laughs> um, uh. Oh. Well, these people are slums. We can't have that in the office. I don't think Portland's gonna work for us. Mm -mm. Uh, well, let's uh, let's continue. Uh, now, uh, I know Nokia is in need of, of, of a strong workforce. I want to do with my hands like this. Reach in my pocket, back pocket. Wish I had a... You know, I wish I had rings I could play with on my fingers. That's what I should do, is Whoa. try to get... a lot of people are tweeting about this wet noodle that's on a rampage. I'm that out of it already? Yeah, sightings downtown, sightings like... <laughs> Okay, we're getting breaking news on a noodle monster of some kind. We will try if we can. My finger is on the button to switch over to that story. I was waiting for that $50,000. Brian's finger is on the button, and we are almost going to do the switch, but we just need, need that $50,000. And in fact, this in itself can be a driveway moment, but we need your funds. Donate anything, $5, $10, $20, $50, anything you can. And if you're like Scrooge McDuck and you're like swimming in money in like a real pool full of like very bright yellow gold coins, please contribute. It, it, it is our fault. We take responsibility. We birth this monster with our ignorance. Excuse me, do you plan to apologize to the chefs of the city whom you've just embarrassed by your faux pas? Y yes, we're, 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 we have a statement. To all, all chefs in, in, in our wonderful city, we apologize with, with our full heart and body. Are you going to apologize to homeowners whose homes have been ruined by this noodle monster? To ho homeowners out there, if you're watching, we're, we're so sorry. Are you going to apologize to the apartment dwellers who you just left out? Uh, apartment dwellers, we are so sorry. And if you're in uh, 10A or in 15K. Are you going to apologize for the rising rent? We're sorry. Thank you, Sam. Please just have a seat right here, and um, I'll be right back. Everything's okay. Yes, just a minor hiccup. Sorry. Sam, could you? Uh... So, we got some crazy monster movie on our hands here, Chef. What exactly are we dealing with, Mr. Mayor? This is skemen. It's a cold Japanese wheat noodle for dipping in ramen broth. I'm sorry, I didn't have a chance to look any of this up. I don't have my phone with me, so why would a noodle increase in size and then attack a city? So the thing is, if it's dipped, it's a delicious dish. But if it's soaked in the broth, it turns into a monster. What does it want? What does this noodle want? It just wants to be dipped, but it's gotten dunked. It's gotten dunked and soaked. So the noodle wanted a shower, but someone gave it a bath. As if the noodle has been baptized against its will. Why isn't it? Rice. Why didn't rice happen? It's, Why is it's it? It's a wheat noodle from wheat, not a rice noodle from rice. Mm. You need to get your phone. I don't have a phone. You guys all have your phones with you. I don't have mine. Okay. So th my little brain is trying to come up with solutions. I don't chopstick gun. We tried that. How, how are we going to deal with this? I mean, I want it dealt with humanely, of course. No one gets hurt, including the noodle. But we have to deal with it. Any ideas? Maybe we could take one of our city pools and fill it with ramen broth. Then we get the noodle and we dip it turns it back into a delicious dish. That's a great idea. A quick dip. Quick dip. Quick dip. We've got to forcibly get into this pool of broth. I think I know people that are good at pushing things in pools. Frat guys. Yeah. We need you to push the noodle monster into the water. We could do that. Yeah. Okay. Don't you guys want to be heroes? You guys want to be heroes? You guys hear that? Yeah. 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 We agree on that? So yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> my socks are on, buddy. Guys, I have my phone in my pocket. So this this pool thing's not going to work. Mayor, uh, could we have a word with you? Excuse me. One second. 
We're just about through with our little hiccup. Can I get you anything else? Some magazines or more games? Actually, or? I think we're just going to head to the airport. No. We feel like we have a good take on what Portland is, how it um, <laughs> operates. So thanks very much for showing us everything. You really haven't had a chance to experience all of Portland. Well, it seems like you got something pretty big going on here, so. Well, we're busy, but not too busy for you. Take care. Alan? The Nokia people didn't say it directly, but I think it would please them if we destroyed this noodle once and for all. Well, I, I just have an apology hangover right now. I feel awful. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Nance. Well, I'm not sorry, because I'm sick of being sorry. Hey, where's the fridge? The stairs are all wet. What's your What's going on? Ah! Ah! We're sorry. We're sorry. What else do you want from us? You, you want a written apology? I'm done apologizing. I don't even know what we did wrong. Can you hear us? Maybe he understands gestures of apology. I'm not going to bow to a noodle. We're, we're, we're sorry. We apologize. Can, can, can you? Listen, we've had enough of you. Get out of here. Ram! Ah! Ah! Peter! Get Peter! Get it. Come on. It was last seen uh, near Sandy and 33rd. I think it's heading back to my restaurant to suck down some more broth. Copy that. I've located the target. I am prepared to lock in and fire. Excellent. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Engaging termination. I will be firing in 15 seconds. Hey! Whoa, 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 hold on, pilot. Ma'am, what are you doing there? What is your beef? We need to exterminate this noodle. My husband. No, ma'am, I can't. The folks from Nokia are on their way to Seattle, and they've just seen us with lots of stains on our shirts. No, no, no. Listen, I can neutralize the situation. I can do it humanely. Please. Please. You've got two minutes. Get me NPR. We are go for Operation Driveway moment. That's why in this uh, pledge drive we need you. Out of chair! Out of chair! Move, move, move! Archive, Rizda, this is Marketplace. So let me tell you actually a little story. When I lived in Beijing, there was a place I went to, a little noodle shop that I went to every single day for lunch. We had Dan Dan Mian, which if you've never had Dan Dan Mian, I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's a bowl of noodles, steaming hot. There's some spicy broth on the bottom, a little pork on top, some scallions, maybe a little garlic. If you've never tried it, try it. Anyway. What happens is I go back to China a couple of years ago and I go to try to find my little noodle. Shop. My little Dun Dun Mian shop, right? I mean, it was about five tables, little thing over in the corner somewhere. And I'm walking all around the Can't find it, can't find it. Finally, I turn a corner, because as you know, China has changed a lot in the past 20 years. Turn a corner, and there's the spot. It's a huge glass building, but here's the deal. This is not a joke. He's engaged in the story. We have a driveway moment. Repeat, we have a driveway moment. Go for Roth. China is changing. Remember I said up at the top, 44 billion individual portions of noodles. That's even after somebody has come in and knocked down my Volkswagen dealership. So the conclusion to draw here, I think, if I can sum it up, which I really hope I can, is... Asia file. Hey, everybody. We're going to have a ramen lesson today. Um, it's a very specific kind of ramen. Scamming in ramen. It's the dipping kind. Of Hold on, hon. I just have to watch this video. Use the noodles, dip into the broth, and eat. These are standard chopsticks that you can find in markets across America. Come on! I was in, uh, I was in Shanghai not too long ago. Went to the night noodle market, actually, in a corner of Shanghai. Extraordinary experience. Here's what they did. Took a little ball of dough, whapped it on the counter, and boom, stretched it out into a noodle. Whapped it on the counter again, stretched it out into four noodles. Whapped it, eight noodles. You whap it one more time, 16. No, wait, let's, let's hear the end. 64. Oh, okay. Three and a half minutes later, bang, bowl of noodles. 
now here's the moral of the story noodles matter noodles matter to people they matter to local economies and speaking of the economy we are still doing our pledge drive Downturn yeah, here. I, I don't know actually how much time we're going to have to stretch out the pledge drive, so let's get back to the Asian food market worldwide, which uh, I'm sure people oh are interested in. I'm sorry, Peter. So essentially, you want to get a big bite of this, dip it into your broth, and then slurp it down in one shot. <laughs> Oh, just let go. It's not gonna work. Peter! Peter! Yes! Yes! Oh, amazing! Uh, yeah. All right, and, uh, and there we are. That is Marketplace uh, for today, and I'm Kai Rizdal. Thanks very much. Hey! Mr. Mayor! Mr. Mayor! Excuse me! Excuse me, everybody! The way you worked with your citizens to neutralize this monstrosity and bring it to a peaceful conclusion was impressive. We've decided to offer you a job in our headquarters in Finland. Whoa. Um, I have to decline. I'm the mayor of Portland, Oregon, and this is my dream job. So thank you, but no. Yeah. Yay! It's like you just came out of a womb. It's Nance. Oh, Nance. Oh, oh, and then there, there's noodles all around me. I, I, I know. I just ate the entire noodle. The, 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 the skimmin? Just like the waiter had told us to do, just like you told me to do. I, I put it all in order. I watched a video, and then I just slurped up that big noodle. Are, are you in the army? No, I'm, I'm not in the army. Oh, look at all the troops. Look at all the troops. Yeah. I, I salute you. Private Nance reporting for duty. Oh, and it's, a, any way that you eat noodles is fine with me. I don't care, as long as I get to be with you. Can you see me? You're my cute smudge. You're my cute smudge. Mm.